What is up? What is up? Do you want to introduce yourself to my chat real quick? Yes, I can introduce myself. Uh, my name is Francisco. I stream at uh, FPublish MTG, and I'm about to fire that off right now. Sweet. Uh, in fact, I just did. And uh, yeah, I, I basically I stream mostly modern, and I haven't been streaming that much lately because I, <laughs> I had a kid not very long ago, but now she started to be a little bit bigger and now i can actually stream a little bit more so that's gonna be good uh but Yay. yeah uh, i love me i love me some some pre-modern as you can probably guess uh i started playing back in odyssey so all of this stuff uh, has some pretty deep real deep i would even say um value of uh, you know nostalgia which is obviously a pretty big aspect of what this format is and uh, yeah, I've been trying to make pre-modern content for quite a bit right now. So when you topated that event uh, like a month ago uh, with Lauren, not only is Lauren just like a sweet deck, uh, but it really showcased the the possibilities that this format has. And it, it was, you know, I just basically threw you a DM and I said, you know, what do I have to lose if he doesn't want to do anything? Heck he, just, yeah. he just don't do anything. So yeah, Lauren you did want to, so <laughs> that worked out. Alluren is a deck that uh, I couldn't afford when I first started playing Extended, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I, 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 but that was like right when I was getting into competitive Magic and just like testing a lot online and and going to my first paper events and stuff. And I top aided my first PTQ with a Machine Head deck that was basically like 100% legal in this format. It was like a bunch of Carnophages and Duresses and Mesmeric Fiends and stuff. Um, yeah. And I couldn't afford to try like a lot of the the decks that were legal at the time uh like a learn and stuff and so now i get to go back and basically play that format again yeah. only now i've got like the resources to try everything out and like a lot of the cards are, are actually like at the same price or cheaper now because <laughs> they're just like not played in any other format and um so that's really cool yeah I'm, I'm originally from argentina so you can probably expect that at the money equivalent that it was back then like i wanted to build a red white astro slide when i was a kid Oh and yeah, exalted yeah. angels were basically like you were coming into forty five dollars today. Yeah, and I eternal bought, dragons were something. It was like yeah, yeah a bunch of rares so in that deck. I basically bought uh, everything for that deck in paper uh, a year ago or so for like less than ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds you know, right. I I just owed something to past friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> just, absolutely, absolutely. And, and uh, exalted was... exalted angel used to be like the best fucking card imaginable like Dude. people people were like sarah angel was like so good for so long and now we get exalted angel it's a four five not a four four and it gains life <laughs> and it has was... morph <laughs> it was bane slayer but like it, the bane slayer of the people... time yeah exactly and back when people couldn't even like deal with that kind of shit you know it was bane just... slayer is not even bane slayer anymore what's the exactly. what's the current bane slayer <laughs> yeah yeah, uh, is it Urza oh, Saga? Is it yeah. Urza Saga going and getting the one mana lifelink equipment? Is that the new Bane Slayer? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. So we both have uh, four decks that we're going to be starting with, <laughs> but but uh, I was thinking we could just like play whichever deck that we felt like at first without letting the other person. I mean, we, we can we can both just like choose a deck and then talk about the deck a little bit, and that'll be kind of like random pairings if we choose without letting the other person know first. Okay, so would you, would you want for us to do like go through the decks one at a time and like do like a? a I don't. Th a, I don't think we a, should go through all of them right now. I think we should go through them be right before we play. Oh, okay, okay. So like each one of us would go through the deck lists individually then, because I didn't know if you wanted to do like a jointed deck, uh, like a de jointed deck deck where we you know talk about like the deck, what the deck does and stuff. Just just pick whatever deck that you're gonna play now and have it up on your screen, and that'll okay. be random. <laughs> Fair enough. And then we can both talk about it at the same time. Do you have a deck selected? I I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna start with Dread Still. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start with Blue Green Madness. You're starting with Blue Green Madness. All right. Yeah. This will be interesting. We can we can talk about Blue Green Madness first. All right. Yeah. So this is this is my baby right here. Like. So when I was a kid, uh, this was my first like real deck. Like I started playing 
uh, with some cards that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, he totally scammed me. He took all my Pokemon cards and I oh, took no. like, the Magic cards. Like he totally got me good. But you know now now I play a lot of Magic in my life. So like who's laughing now, right? Uh-huh. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but basically the, the very first deck that I had was Psychic Talk, and then somebody stole that from me, and uh, I had like a shitty zombie deck that didn't win. Uh, so Blue Green Madness was a deck that I built very very slowly. And it took me like a year to put together. Yeah. But it's the deck that I chose because it's all in common. So it was like the deck that I could afford. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, this deck built too. Yeah. Um, I, had a, I had a pretty bad version. You said oh, this yeah. deck was your baby. You know how yeah. sometimes parents will get like very excited to show you pictures of their baby. And in your head, you're like, that's an ugly child. <laughs> <laughs> I, the reason I bring this up is... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think I think this deck's a little bit overplayed in pre-modern, but there there is a lot of room to build with it. I've seen versions playing mana dorks. I've sh- seen versions with like combo backdoors. Some folks are playing like dazes. Um, it seems like there's a lot of different ways to tool around with it and build it for like your expected metagame and stuff. So even though I'm not like keen on the archetype and the format, obviously a lot of folks are, and there's a huge huge nostalgia component like you uh, like you were just going into, and that's like you know the cool thing about the format. Yeah, hundred percent, and like I feel like there's a lot of brewing uh, as well that is is yet to be done in the format, which I think absolutely is so yeah, cool. there's a ton of that. Uh, but but yeah, like obviously the version that I own doesn't have survivals because this card is like outrageously expensive right now. But uh, I saw the deck list. I picked up was... some gold boarded ones. Yeah, <laughs> gold boarded oh, survivals. The and they were the still way, something. That's... They were they were like sixteen bucks or something. Yeah, w- so... way more than they should be for sure. <laughs> for 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 a gold border card, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, but like that's one thing that this format has, yeah. which is awesome, is that uh, the whole concept of the format is to have as many people play it as possible. So every any version of the card is is fine. Like you can play whatever you want. Um, so you can play like you know new frames. You can play old frames. Obviously, the old frames are sweeter. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what I'm trying to say is like the the idea is to minimize the barrier of entry the the most possible. So if you have gold border survivals, those are perfectly legal in in your pre modern tournament. Um, that's part of the the concept of the format. So it's th- that I think it's a very very cool aspect of it because it really uh, opens the door to you know brewing with. You know, a, a, a card like this, which most people would not be able to uh, under no more circumstances, right? Because, you know, of the price tag. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, so I saw this version with Survival and I saw, I thought it was freaking sweet. Uh, uh, the one that I have in paper does not play Survival, but this. I don't, just makes I don't know why, sense. where my hate is coming from either. Like, a lot of these cards were in the, the first deck that I ever topied at a GP with. We have survivals, yeah. Aquamibas, Wild Mongrels, yep. <laughs> Asking um, Wallace. Yeah, obviously, these cards were were better. You know, when damage went on the stack, Aquamiba was basically a two mana three three. Basically was, a two mana three three, yeah. Which was way above rate, but at the time, like way above rate. <laughs> I mean, in this format, like a two mana three three is just it's unheard of, right? Like, you you get Mog Flunkies. That's that's your two mana three three. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So um, anyway. So yeah, Cyborg's so fairly self-explanatory. Should we yeah. uh, should we move on to the um, the dreadstill list? Yes. I don't want the 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 deck tech to take too long. Um, <laughs> just a brief overview while we uh, help folks ease into the format. Sounds good. Um, this was the one of the trickier decks to to nail down um, a version to play because there's uh, the 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 pre modern community is has not settled on a list. There's blue black versions. There's blue white versions. There's blue red. Um, there's like all different ways you can go about it. You can be more controlling, um, like lean into the standstill element more, play more creature lands, play like Nev's disc as a sweeper, or you can go more tempo-y like this. If you are going tempo-y, there's a, like a bunch of different cantrip options. Right now I'm playing Opt because I thought it was cute to like hold up Opt versus Stifle on turn one, but it like it should probably slide up be uh, either sleight of hand or the. Um, uh, the the slow pondering. What's that one called again? Uh, what? Uh, por- portent. Yeah, portent. Portent. Portent usually sees a lot of play. Mm-hmm. And then there's impulses and stuff. Not all the mono blue versions are playing gush. I kind of wanted to try that out because that card's fucking nutty. Anyway, 
yeah, yeah, fairly sure. fairly I... self-explanatory. So what, what I'm trying to do here is play a Dreadnought and then a uh, Stifle that comes in a play trigger. And then I can also use Stifle on my opponent's mana base. This is a fetch land format. People aren't playing like eight fetches like they are in Legacy, but there's still some fetch lands because the fixing is, is bad. So even though you're not get, getting duels, people are still playing fetches. And then I've also got Wasteland and Days going on. So the Stifle Wasteland Days thing that's uh, that used to be like a a corner of Legacy. And most decks in, um, in pre-modern can't actually afford to play Wastelands because uh, their own mana bases are so bad. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. there, like, there's no duels in this format. It's a bunch of pain yeah. lands and shit. I, I think that there's something really charming about, you know, playing fetch lands in your deck and actually going to get a basic every single time because there's just no other options. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so fetch lands are just to get your basic. And mm -hmm. of course, you know, like they're busted, so they have synergies. We're going to be seeing that later on with the, you know, the slide deck and stuff. Right, right. Yeah, the slide deck, Mono Red, still plays eight fetches, of course, mm -hmm. because of Grim Lava Mancer and wants to fill up the graveyard. Exactly. exactly. Anyway, should we. Yeah. Uh... This deck is sweet, by the way. I think it's sweet. Um, yeah. I haven't played with or against it or even seen any games with it, but I'm excited yeah. to jam. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's do it then. So I guess I'll add you as buddy. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll just challenge you. I will get this party started. Um, how do you want to do it during the the match? Do you want to like mute the Discord call, the, the Discord call in between? Like while uh, we can, playing? We can we can chat. That's fine. Okay. Sweet. Uh, 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 however you want to do it is fine. Yeah, like what, whatever this, you want. This should be good. Mm. Dude, I haven't played Moto in like two weeks. <laughs> I'm so rusty. <laughs> All right. This I is think great. you've played enough Moto that you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll come back to me. I'll come back to me. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. Let's let's get this party started. Blue Green Madness. Oof. Can't ask better than this hand. Keep it. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, this this is this is so great. <laughs> just just looking at these cards makes me happy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ask him only against two five. <laughs> <laughs> all right start all right. it up let's do it let's do it island go that's your turn yeah dude it's great what are you even talking about <laughs> are you jealous look at this best creature in the format yeah best creature in the format straight up i might have something to say about that here <laughs> uh-oh well, god damn it. <laughs> Ugh. So, <laughs> so you've got a 2 2 and you're saying best creature in the format? I mean, 2 2 is pretty good. So, oh, <laughs> oh, but yours, you can discard a card to give it plus one plus one. Okay, so even though mine's a little larger, I mean, if you have 10 cards in hand, <laughs> then um, wow. maybe you'll smart, be fine. Smart mouth, huh? <laughs> um, well, we're in trouble, folks. <laughs> Gotta, gotta go a searching. Look at this. Look at this synergy. You see, you, do you see what's going on right here? I, I do. I do. This is called synergy, my friend. <laughs> do you, yeah. Do, do uh, you see what's going on right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that happened. <laughs> what? No attacks? I'm a coward. What can I say? So, maybe your deck is better than mine, huh? Oh. Yep. Um, I had, a, I think I had a better first couple of turns than yours, but... <laughs> Where's my unsummon? Where's yeah, my right? unsummon? Oh, I didn't draw it. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's the... I got cyborg cards, though. 
what is it the kids say gg close is that (laughs) it's okay i'm not afraid of you (laughs) good you shouldn't be (laughs) are you sure i shouldn't be (laughs) Hmm. I don't want to cut any cars. They are sweet. Right? They're not great. They're not great, but they just look great here. <laughs> um. Oh man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, do I really want uh-huh. to cut one of those? What am I doing? Yeah, this is. I got some tools. All right, <laughs> got some tools. <laughs> nice. I'm not feeling too sad about it. Just don't stand still me on turn two, okay? Deal? (laughs) Maybe. No promises. Oh. There we go. Almost almost made a a pretty bad mistake. I caught myself. Don't worry about it. Mm Hmm. One of my chat members is giving me shit for playing a new border opt, but it's the Yog opt or the the Yargle opt. I don't know. I play the Yargle cards every every time I can. I use the Yargle swords too. I don't give a shit. It's okay. It's okay. I, I forgive you. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. This hand's not ready for you though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. All right. So, you told me not to stand still. You on turn two. <laughs> I'll I'll agree to that condition now that I see my hand. <laughs> okay, so that's probably worse for me, huh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> God damn it. Mmm. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. That's some serious volume. How do you feel about that? It's pretty good. I think I'm still going to do this. God damn it. What are you cursing about? You're ahead. That's that's true. <laughs> Oof. 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 Boom. Yeah, get that pump in. Mm. Now I'm feeling it. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll take the damage. Just don't have two of those, okay? (laughs) Just don't have two? Don't have two of those. All right. Good. Well, this is interesting. Thanks for the thirty dollar donation, Mr. Tasty. Hmm, that is tasty indeed. <laughs> Extremely tasty, yeah. <laughs> this is this is fun magic. <laughs> this is fun magic right here. Are you having fun? <laughs> Always. Because I'm having fun here. I'm gonna. I'm about to have more fun right now. I'm about to have more fun right now. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) How do you feel about it now? (laughs) That's terrible for me. Yeah, that's a that's a fucking bummer. (laughs) I think we can play this game now. I'm drawing lands too, hitting land drops. Dude, Uh this is. It's just too free. <laughs> it's just too fucking free, man. The natural one dude discard. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, go. enjoy the cards. I'll draw three. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. Can I please? Can I please have some more value on the way out? 
<laughs> Can I discard this arrogant worm to <laughs> to hand size, please? Giving me shit about blue ring madness. Come on, man. Look at this. Oh, I'm looking. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh man. <laughs> this day's card seems pretty good. Well, this day's card's pretty good. I think it's 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 really underplayed in this format, but it's because nobody can fit enough islands into their deck. <laughs> you you almost have to be mono blue. It's it's really hard. Yeah, yeah. There, there there's folks out there like playing fucking um, like days in blue with madness with like seven islands. <laughs> Just like that's yeah, that's not yeah that that's not it. <laughs> that right there is not it. Uh oh. It, it what is it? Uh oh. That's um it's a lot of power. That's my turn. So it's an okay turn. You get your squee back though. I get my squee back though, huh? <laughs> How do you feel about that? Um well I got this. Ooh, that's pretty good. God damn it. I got this too though. God damn it. All yep. right. <laughs> um, do you like, why is your deck so busted? Because <laughs> I'm playing a bunch of free cards. Yep. Um, that would explain it. So, let me think about this real quick. This doesn't change the clock, and I can't kill you, so... Oh shit, what up? Two mana 12-12 seems strong. Yeah, it's possible I shouldn't be serving here. But it could change the clock. Boom. Killed it, Drake. Play that. Can I has a 12-12, please? God damn it, man! <laughs> 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 okay. Sad Gilded Drake is sad. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to let you choose a target with that first. says up to one target creature oh hmm. but if you can't make this exchange you sack it anyway there's no way for it yeah. to like work where i get it yeah, yeah um well i was i was feeling so smart right there and now i i'm just feeling very dead you should, instead you should have felt smart you got the survival <laughs> you got your answer now i'm just feeling very dead god damn it um i mean i have a i have this guy so well, that's a pretty good guy yeah i'm, I'm dead now <laughs> <laughs> all right all right you got me Sweet. Yeah, that was so, fun, though. Yeah, I mean, I had fun. I had I had no idea if this deck was any good or not. Um, and it's probably really bad against uh, a Swords to Plowshares deck, but that was sweet. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, like this. <laughs> um, I, I was impressed by like how you just always had stuff. <laughs> right. Classic, yeah. Lot, lot... Yeah. Classic. Crack my own standstill. Easily win, anyways. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the free spells are pretty busted. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that I think Stasis is really good, too. The Stasis gets to play, like, a ton of free counters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, you, you look at Foil, and you're like, there's only so many times you could 3 for one yourself, right? But you don't need to, you know, do it too much before it's good. All right. Anyway. Do, you, uh, do you have your second deck selected? Um, if you give me a second, uh, I can... And I have it now. 
Okay, I have chosen Sly as my second deck. I've chosen Black Green Rock. Oh man, I think that I think this matchup is like pretty even. I was hoping I was hoping <laughs> to have a less even one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, mean, I don't know, man. Like this. Uh... Should I go first? My deck's pretty point and click. Uh, I'm playing old school Sly. Uh, people that have been playing Moto, like the the random Moto um, Gauntlet events when they show up, will recognize this deck because uh, it was one of the decks that they included for the the standard thing. They had this deck in the same field as like Cobblade and like the new Uro decks and stuff um, <laughs> with Omnath and, and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. And this deck was actually still very good. I thought it was like one of the best three decks of that Gauntlet, despite there being like really like busted newer decks too. The oh, fact is, like, Fire Blast is just, like, a nutty burn spell. Nutty burn spell. And Cursed yeah. Scroll looks really clunky, but it's actually really good. The creatures all suck, except for Grim Lava Mancer, but who cares? <laughs> the spells are good enough. Uh, I have played this deck a bit. I've played it a bit on, on online with the, um, with the gauntlet that I was just mentioning it. And um, I played... Uh, budget burn back when like legacy was very new uh so that, that was like a very similar thing i have not played uh with urza's baubles though i haven't played a build with baubles but in one of the more recent uh pre-modern monthly events that happen if folks are watching and interested in this format uh there is there are online tournaments that happen and they're organized through the pre-modern discord if you go to the main pre-modern website there's like links to all of that and stuff if you want to get into it but uh, but the most recent event had two burn decks in the top eight that were playing this Urza's Bobble card, and I guess it's to um, make the deck a little bit thinner while also juicing up your Grim Lava Mancers, making sure that your Grim Lava Mancers just always have um, gas to, to exile. So I'm excited to try them out, see if they're any good or not. I mean, basically every every single thing that goes to the graveyard for free is just so good with Lava Man, and all, you're also playing Barbarian Ring. Which, you know, has a little bit of tension with the Lava Man, but I guess that if you're activating one, hopefully you don't need to activate the other one. <laughs> um, but yeah, this deck is sweet. Uh, Sulfuric Vortex is kind of messed up. <laughs> this, it is that... a messed up card, yeah. yeah. And it's really easy to under underestimate Ball Lightning, too, until you get hit by one, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, a lot of... Um... Synergy, if we can call that, you know, just throwing stuff at your <laughs> opponent's face. They all deal damage. Yeah, Every exactly. card deals damage. It's synergy. Very synergistic. Uh, right, should we talk I, about the rock, the rock no, a little bit? I was going to say, like, the card that uh, surprised me from this list is Overload. I honestly did not know that this card existed. Yeah, people have played a few different random shatter effects in the sideboard. Mm -hmm. of uh of there's like one with buyback there's one where you can like sack a mountain and play it for free there's a few different random shatter effects that people have played and they're all like a little bit better in different situations um yeah. i decided to play overloads i mean it's a really mana efficient card if you like have too many dead cards for the mirror you can board it in and hit like a cursed scroll and it's like not the most embarrassing thing it's pretty bad <laughs> but it's better than having like a jackal pup in your deck or sulfuric vortex right yeah. Uh, and then um, it seemed good against Phyrexian Dreadnoughts, too. It's probably, like, the best one against those, maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, that's really good against against Dreadnoughts, for sure. Um, also, Flare and Pain is a card that you don't see you don't see every day. Yeah, I think that one's just to beat uh, COP Red. I think that's the main, which, the main which card which you're lot, answering with that. Which makes a lot of sense. Also, the flashback seems very useful. Fla Flare and Pain's, like, four bucks on Moto. I think it's because of Popper. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this actually sees play in popper. Um, yeah, I, I was I was going through the process of you know trying to buy the cars to see like the old border to, to get the old border version of some of them, and goddamn it, are they expensive for no reason whatsoever? Also, like Parallax Tide, dude. Like, why why is Parallax Tide like two dollars? Like, <laughs> who is maybe EDH? Parallax I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. Um, All right, should we talk about the rock? Yeah, so the rock is just a absolutely classic archetype. You know, works with uh, deranged hermit. Uh, that's like the uh, that I think that's the rock. No, that's the that's the minions. The original name was the rock and his minions, and the deranged hermit is the minions, and the rock was Pyrexian plague lord. Unfortunately, Pyrexian plague lord is apparently not good enough in pre modern and. You know, disclaimer: neither is spirit monger. Okay, like this card. <laughs> I this was laughing because you, you found a list with Spiritmonger. I was going to mention it if you didn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I didn't. I added one. 
<laughs> just let's just be clear. I just want to cast Spirit Monger, and there's only one way to to do that. And I, you know, I just needed to <laughs> to to put it in the deck. So yeah, yeah I have not just, seen this card cast in pre-modern. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not very good. It gets it like you know we would think five mana six six is is like the best creature in the entire format. Turns out that. Um, no, it's too slow. Uh, everything else that you could be doing, it's it's just better. And uh, also, by the time you cast it, you're probably dead. Or you like, what the hell are you doing? Like this, this guy doesn't really stabilize, you know. <laughs> so um, it's really sad because, like, back when I was a kid, I remember everybody like this card being printed and everybody like flipping out about it. But it turns out that no, it's not very good. But yeah, so we're we're just like the classic strategy that you see in, in modern even to this day. Uh, so we have some discard spells, of course, no thoughts is back in the day, and no inquisition mm -hmm. either. So we have duress and cabal therapy instead, which are basically the same cards. And then some removal spells in vendetta, uh, smother, and chainer's edict. And then we have uh, probably one of the best removal spells in the format in pernicious deed. Like this card is really, really, really good. Pernicious Deed is really well positioned in this format. The cool thing about yeah. Pernicious Deed is it's good against the control decks because the control decks are winning with Creature Lands and Decree of Justice, and Pernicious Deed is good against those cards. And then it's also good against the lock decks, which are relying on artifacts and enchantments uh, to lock out the opponent. And if you have a Pernicious Deed with mana up, that doesn't happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, so it's, it's just good. It's just, like, super good. I was yeah. really impressed with it out of Aluren, and Aluren's, like, a combo deck, but, like... Some of those lock pieces stop you from comboing, you know? Like, I used it to blew up, like, humilities and stuff in game one. It was, like, pretty important for that. Um, yeah. yeah, someone was asking who is favorite in this matchup, and I've actually played a little bit of it. Uh, when um, when there was a pre-modern event here, I stayed after the event and helped them, like, take down the the coverage stuff. And, and um, afterwards, I played a few pickup games against Team J-Bro. And nice. he, was, he was playing the rock deck, and I was playing Sly. And it felt like we were splitting games pretty evenly. The uh, a lot depends on your opener, like how painful your mana base is. Whether you ha like have to use Land of War Waste or City of Brass for green mana, you know that can be like a big issue. Um, the walls are like pretty good. Uh, it a, a lot. It seemed like came down to like whether whether or not you could get to the ravenous bail off stage of the game while still having like a healthy life total. Because like that that's one thing that we didn't talk about. Like this is playing recurring nightmare and it's playing recurring nightmare for value. Like there's mm -hmm. no real combos here. Like it's just just for value. So you can, you know, you get your deranged hermit, you sack a token to to the nightmare, you get back your, your Bayloth, you know, next turn you do the same thing, you get back your, your hermit, and then um, you know, you kinda loop them like so. Um, and and so, even if you don't have recurring nightmare, Blastoderm is another beast. You can just sack that to Ravenous Bailoff. It doesn't yeah. have to be the Bailoff to itself. Yeah, and Spirit Monger also a beast, by the way. Ooh. <laughs> Synergy, huh? Huh? So so yeah, I imagine that it has to do a lot with how many creatures do you draw. Like the more creatures that you draw, the better that is for me. Uh, because you know I can kill those creatures <laughs> so, and not take damage, yeah. from them, which is good for me. Uh, but you still don't want to see me go like one drop, one drop, one drop on the play. But for the most part, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But okay, yeah, that's that's pretty much pretty much what the, what the deck does. But yeah, like I said, those were just pickup games, and they were only game ones. Uh, hmm. So who knows? Maybe the matchups like slightly better or slightly worse than. Um, yeah, than I, I feel like those. I, I feel like the deck. This deck is kind of desperate to find like a, to have like an abrupt decay style card i feel like that's what oh would, yeah yeah that'd be hot would, yeah that, that's what would take this deck to the next level i think but you know we, we just have some other i guess <laughs> uh, at least it can be regenerated right yeah do you want to challenge me again uh, yeah let's do that um three four and let's go. This was such a cool idea. I'm glad you reached out to me. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you said yes. <laughs> uh, I've been talking about pre-modern because I've been like kind of high on the format. And some of my viewers are like, can we expect pre-modern content? And I was like, well, I don't know what that would look like. <laughs> yeah. Because obviously it's not like a supported thing on Moto. And usually it's like... A, a decent amount of work to like find someone to collaborate with and then do all the like work of giving the cards and all that stuff. And if you're organizing, but when you reach yeah. out to me, it like removed 
like a good third of that <laughs> just yeah. like right off the top it was like deal in for sure for sure all right so on the play yeah i guess i'll keep this i'm no coward i might be a coward i think i'll keep Lanoir wastes go <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, you, you see, like what I was saying about the K, <laughs> and that's exactly what I meant. I'm ready to lose to this curse scroll. Um, oh yeah, I hope that happens. I'm nice... ready to beat you with this curse scroll. <laughs> Glad we agree on that. Um, I'm gonna therapy you. It's rude. I've been incinerated. Okay, so we're gonna do. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my hand sucks. <laughs> um, oh, I have six. I didn't mean to have six. Whoops. <laughs> should I try to? No, you're, it? You're, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. Okay. Could be worse. Well, now I'm going to lose to the vortex instead of losing to the curse scroll. Probably going to lose to both. And uh, I haven't been running out my fetches to thin. I've been running out my fetches to get the, the single card names out of my hand. So if I have a handful of mountains, then the Cursed Scroll is going to hit. Whereas if I have a handful of individual fetches, then it's not going to hit. In case anyone's wondering about that. Then I'm going to hit your mock fanatic. No, nah, my mock. It's gone. Damn. I basically just enabled your curse scroll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could have played it. <laughs> um, Good old Mog Fantastic. Uh, yeah. I, um, one of the first tournaments I played in, my deck had, had uh, Mog Fanatics, and I called it, I, I, was, I was a child, <laughs> and I called it Mog Fantastic the entire time, and um, just tilted the crap out of one of my opponents. <laughs> and then later on in life, uh, <laughs> It like both of us became magic content creators, and I went up into my DCI history, and I was like, "Oh shit, I played against you!" And they were like, "That was you! You tilted the crap out of me! I hated you so much!" <laughs> anyway, oh wow, so much value. Yeah, the memories, <laughs> the tilt that the keeps memories. coming back. The memories. God damn it. Uh... Yeah, at least know. that at least that guy races, I guess. Yeah. Wow, you showed him mountains? So lucky. Chris Scroll just lets you like click on a card in your hand instead of having to type it in. That's so good. Nice. Two ya. Yeah. You might actually race. I'm at eleven to your nine, and you have six power in play. That's kind of a lot, right? Hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, well, I'm soaking up. It's a, like this is the same, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you lose your, your bail off. Yeah, I lose my bail off, but... Like, I can't take six. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I don't blame you. I, th I thought you'd put both walls in front and take one, but I guess that puts you at an even number for the vortex, so maybe that's not good. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. The clock is back. Mm-hmm. Mm. How much do I want to gamble? <laughs> I'm 
not gonna gamble. We we've established I'm a coward, so <laughs> that's not true. You said I'm not a coward earlier on. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> good. Now now the truth has come out. <laughs> that's bad for me. Yep. That's uh that's definitely bad for me. Yeah, remember when I didn't um uh, Flashback, flashback therapy, therapy, therapy. And that's vortex. That was kind of, it was kind of the game, yeah. On the misclick. Womp womp. Fucking um, moto, huh? Oh, fucking moto. I mean, to be fair, like the I, I was the idiot, so it's okay. I love you, moto. I love you. <laughs> you try not to get jinxed. Yep. I got some tools. I got some tools. Someone, here. someone in my chat was was suggesting that you sack your uh, your bail off, and my chat erupted and like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Just a wall of everybody at once. Yeah. Hopefully, people are having a good time today. I'm definitely. Yeah. I'm definitely pretty happy to be to be. This seems like like something I've been been trying to do for a long time. So. Finally being able to do it. it. feels great. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been aware of this format for that long. It was just like when there was a local event. I guess Minguchi was, was tweeting about it, and I thought it like looked really sweet, but I didn't think there would be a chance to actually play against people. So yep. I didn't pay a ton of attention. Yeah, I definitely I watched some of uh, Mangu's tweets. But uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't remember who told me that this format existed. And then... Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, there's a website called uh, premodernmagic.com, and you go into this website, and that's like everything about you know premodern, like their, their rules and everything, and it has decks, it has you know like the legal sets and everything. So it's definitely a great great resource. And I went in there on one night and I stayed until three a.m. just looking at deck lists. Oh <laughs> was, yeah, yeah, that's a lot I just of fun. went down. I went down the rabbit hole so oh, shit, freaking what? hard. It was awesome. Um, and then I bought like five decks that night. <laughs> Just totally worth it. Totally worth it. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> oh, my wall. Yeah, that might be bad. Bolting a wall instead of bolting your face. That's why lightning bolt's worse than a lava spike, right? <laughs> yep. Sometimes you misplay. So I kept a one lander on the draw because I'm a genius. And it is working out. Seems like it's working out. Am I fucked here? I don't know. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Sideboarding down right. Play this guy. That's a good guy. Dude, like, I, I was so obsessed with this card. Like, this was, I, when I was a kid and I learned what card advantage was, I just couldn't believe that this was a card that you could play. Yeah, but my elder, yeah, it's like an ancestor recall, but on a green creature. It blew my mind. Like, I remember play, there was this guy that would play the rock at my local place or whatever. Oh, shit. What and up? it would just blow my mind how, like, he would draw, like, all these cards. I'm just like, how is that fair? <laughs> how is that okay? Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Can I please draw another naturalize, please? Please, please, please. Oh yeah, right on time. That's not bad. Huh. I think like so one more one... turn and I'd be fire blasting in response. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this one deals three, Holy this one what? deals four. Huh. Which one should I take? So much value. Oh shit, what up? You have another one? That's no good. That's no good for me. 
It's too much. It's too many cards. I don't, even, I don't think I even attack. You don't attack? I don't think so. Well, I do. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I could activate on your upkeep to have you deal to have you take two, but I think it's much better for me to activate right now and not With allow you to activate Lava yeah. Man. Yeah, that seems smart. Blow it's my good, dude. It's a good deed. Draw some more cards. I've been incinerated. Swamp forest again. There go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you leave in Vendetta against me? Like, uh, just for ball lightning? Vendetta? Yeah. Like, one mana if I can answer your ball lightning. I, it, no, I mean, I have Smothers and stuff. Yeah, that's two mana, though. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. I think I don't even fuck with this. I think I just... <laughs> <laughs> just cashing it in. Yeah, it's just... Game four, I'll take it. Um... I don't know anything. Are you thinking for therapy? Yeah. I'm going to cast it now because it's much worse next turn. <laughs> yeah, I should say so. Yeah. It's it's fair to say that it's going to be worse. So you don't have Vortex because you would have played it. Instead of Ball Lightning? Yeah. I mean, I already cashed in two Vortexes too, so it's pretty unlikely yeah. that I've got a third. Yeah, you have only one. Um... you have Some, someone in my chat is saying to name borborygmos <laughs> but you, you gotta name the right one though <laughs> um probably excited out your creatures so like jackal bob that kind of shit it's no go um could be another incinerate if you had fire blast probably you would have fired off right there in response to the therapy? Yeah. Maybe. It would take me off ball lightning, but probably. Yeah, that's fair. I think I'm going to go wait to see the rate. Boom, oh. baby! Boom! How lucky. <laughs> Man. Genius. An absolute genius. Woof. Baby. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Woo. All right. <laughs> That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Man. Fucking got me. Yep. 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 I forgot to tell you I'm a mind reader, so. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that yeah, helps. That, that helps with that yeah. card. Yeah. I think I want that. Hmm. Man, this is close. What was the guess incinerate instead of Lightning Bolt? Because Lightning Bolt, he could have potentially played it in previous turn, or at least it's more likely that he would have had the extra mana. Well, he, I don't when think I was he tapping had... out for ball lightning. <laughs> no, no, on the previous turn. Because uh -huh. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I assumed that ball lightning is what you top deck. So you had one top deck from the previous turn. That's true. That's true. And I did have that extra mana that one turn. To... Yeah. And you had played one bolt and one incinerate. No, I like it. That was, that was good reasoning. Well played. I think you had me regardless. Because, like, if you whiff on the incinerate, you just flash back. And then you still have Ravenous Bailoth plus double tree top. Yeah. It was sweet that you hit, though. I imagine that uh, you would... Like, a lot of matches are won by just Treetop Village with this deck. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Um, not a coward, but I'm going to ship this hand, though. <laughs> I hate mulliganing against the discard deck. I think I might ship mine, too, though. 
nice even in the playing field. Appreciate it. Something like that. Um, how do you feel about a one lander with CD or brass as the one land? <laughs> it sounds great. Jam it. What could go wrong? Uh, no pain, no gain, huh? Yeah, we're going to five. Okay, at least this hand's reasonable. Okay, I can work with this. I'm not excited about mine, if it helps. My opener was a four lander, though. Without a one drop. I feel like I want to have a one drop when I'm on the play. Sure. Yes. Do this. Uh, so this one deals two damage. This one, this one deals three. Hmm. Tough decisions. Tough. Oof. Oof. Right, I'm scared now. Yeah, I got some stuff. Can you please miss your land drop? Would you be so kind to I can. miss your land drop? I can indeed. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Once again, I'm like really unsure if I should be throwing burn at that wall of blossoms. Probably not, right? Probably just not. Four damage is so much damage. I guess it, if I plan to blow lightning you at some point. Yeah. Is is wall of blossoms just like the best card in this deck? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it probably is against aggro decks. But, like, not all of your opponents are playing aggro decks, right? <laughs> Curse Scroll is kind of neat there. I guess I'll take one so I don't take six. Seems like a fine deal. Yeah, I like that. Taking six is pretty bad. Boom. Taking two. It's bad. Land off the top. Easy land. E I mean, I, should, I guess I should have been more specific. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> Are you trying to bail off me over there? Uh, that's That one's on me. That one's on me. Should have been more specific. I may or may not be trying to bail off you. <clears throat> I am. I am. I'm trying to bail off you, yeah. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. In case you were still wondering, yes. <laughs> Chad is said if I had to say on top land, I would have drawn a dry diver. <laughs> you showed me price of progress. <laughs> gotta, show, gotta show you something. God damn it. Yeah. That's that's something. Well, things get interesting now, though, huh? So I have a game four in play. You do. I know you have price with progress in hand. You do know that. How are you at 20 oh, still? Oh, shit, what up? You haven't attacked me, friend. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a break here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Snap lets it resolve. For you. Yep.
Whoa, sacking the Baloth? Interesting. Well, I guess you wouldn't have attacked if you were planning on sacking the Blastoderm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but if I let you untap and then you find the land, then you have potentially... I guess that you don't have fodder for the Lab of Men just yet. Ooh, got a raid. Raid from Evan, playing some pre-modern here against Caleb. Thank you for the raid. Take two. Considering the block sack. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm tricking I'm everybody upset. playing through modern apparently. <laughs> That's what Evan said. <laughs> I know, man. Maybe people, maybe people are too easy to trick. pre-modern scam that's me <laughs> that's me am i dead here you are not this is this like <laughs> the second time i've gotten you to win this game <laughs> uh well now we're gonna do this i think <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense that's a good play That resolves. I mean, you have no, no stuff in the graveyard. Like, what? What am I supposed to do? I have to race you, right? Suppose. I have to draw land, play the wall that I have in hand, then activate tree top. Seven. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't meant to be, huh? Um, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, I guess like, man, this land or waste. <laughs> close game though. That was close fun. game. Close game. Games two, game two, and, and game three felt a little closer. That, you that see what? I, I, that was you see how? Four, too. What? That was a move to four on my side. Oh, I thought you mulled to five, but yeah, that's still a low mull. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't super happy with my hand, but you can only mull so low against someone playing discard. Uh, yeah. Before. Before the match started, uh, I, I mentioned that one of the key things was, like, how much damage your mana base does to you. And obviously, mm -hmm. you can't, like, mulligan every hand with a functional mana base. Like, there's a reason you're playing those dual lands, right? Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's a big part of the format. Like, a lot of the variants of, of, of this matchup specifically is, like, how much damage does my mana base deal to me? Does that yeah. give the burn deck some, some free points? Exactly, and, and this applies for every deck. Like that's one of the reasons why Sly is one of the best decks in the format, right? I agree. I agree. Everyone's playing so, pain lands. Yep, big time. All right, sweet. Okay, let's, let's play the next one. Hmm. <laughs> you got something lined up? I do. I do. What do you What are you rocking? We're gonna be rocking some tithe control. Uh. Yep. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I'm. Uh, I loaded up. Um. I loaded up the the survival elves list. Yeah, that that deck is super sexy. All I right. think it is. Yeah. So um, let's start with the, the with the tie deck because I I saw some people asking about it. Sure. And uh, this deck is sweet. So the idea is that we're playing a control deck, and we have a parallax tide, <laughs> which has fading, and you exile lands. You exile target land. And then when it leaves the battlefield, each player returns to the battlefield or all cards exiled. So it was just like Parallax uh, Wave, but just for lands. So what you do is you play a Seal of Cleansing, you Parallax Tide, and then you exile five of your opponent's lands with the trigger on the stack uh, of, of this thing uh, leaving the battlefield. You Seal of Cleansing your own thing with all of those triggers on the stack, and then you effectively Armageddon them. Yeah, so it, there won't be a leave the battlefield trigger because that's not how fading works. It has to like trigger on your upkeep, but you can respond yeah. to like all of your activated abilities, like you said. Yeah. yeah, so like I play the tide, I exile 
you know, five lands, and then with those triggers still in the stack, I seal of cleansing uh, my own tithe. It gets exiled, and then the lands get exiled forever. Boom, one-sided Armageddon. Yep. So that's I... that's the main combo we're doing, and then we're just playing, you know, like some removal in Plow and Wrath, uh, some, like, card draw and counter spells, and then we also play... This is the deck list that I found that was playing one of Replenish, which I thought was the cutest thing ever, because it gets back both pieces of your combo. It gets back the seal and the tithe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this one. Then I I exactly... think... Sorry. Oh, I was gonna, just going to say that I, I think this deck's really cool. I think it's, it's super neat. There's two. There's a few different ways to build control decks in this format. The most mm -hmm. common is like blue-white standstill, and then sometimes people splash red in their blue-white standstill lists, and then there's, sometimes there's people playing like bank control and stuff. But the second most popular way of building blue-white is um is this version. It, it's kind of like split in the metagame. People can't figure out which is which is better. The cool thing about this deck is that Seal of Cleansing and Parallax Tide are both like kind of reasonable cards in the format on their own. Like, like the the blue white standstill deck is also main decking disenchant, so it's this. It's not like the seal of cleansing is this clunky card that you that you play to combo and it does nothing when you don't have the the parallax tide. It's 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 much much better than that. Yeah, and if we go over the decks that we played so far, um, every deck was playing very good targets for seal of cleansing, right? Mm -hmm. Survival uh, in the in the madness deck, uh, obviously the 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 twelve twelve in the dreadnought deck. The Dreadnought deck is terrified against playing against this. Yep. Four Swords of Plowshares and four Seal of Cleansing? Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you can ever beat this deck with that one. Uh, and, you know, when Caleb and I were, were talking about, like, figuring out a deck list to use, we saw that it was playing one Forbidding Watchtower, which we were kind of like, eh? Huh? But it's a 1-5, and it seems like a lot of creatures in the format have, like, three or four power, Yep. So this kind of blocks everything. <laughs> blocks Arrogant Worm, blocks Ravenous Bailoff, like several of the creatures that we've already seen so far today. Absolutely. Yeah. See, yeah, so uh, it's it's pretty sweet. So, like, we left it there. Uh, we'll see if it actually comes up. But, yeah, obviously, like, we're playing, like, some factories and stuff. That's the weak condition. What do you got cool. over there? Uh, I'm playing Elves. So I actually picked up this deck in paper. Not the not the, the the real versions of all the cards. I've got a lot of gold cards in there, but <laughs> yep. guys, cradles and survivals and all that. Um, I wasn't shelling shelling out for the real stuff. The thing with survival, so like one of the things about gold cards is that people are like, "But you can't play them in any other format." I'm like, "Well, where where the fuck am I going to play a survival? <laughs> what other format am I going to play this survival in? <laughs> Give me the cheap version, thank you." <laughs> yep. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure. Like, I, I don't know, if, are gold cards legal in Commander or no? legal is like a weird thing like some stores yeah, allow them some don't you know like if you're yeah, playing like a like a side event at a gp i don't think they would allow them but maybe they allow them if like nobody at the table makes a stink about it it's, it's one of those things you know or it's yeah. like gray area type deal right. um the cool thing about gold cards in edh is that it's like very clear like the the art is recognizable it's very clear what the card does it's all printed there they're, they're like top tier proxies right yep um, yeah for sure yeah, so this Elves deck, uh, play an actual factual Priest of Titania, a card that I've not gotten to cast for a very long time. I have played it in Legacy, but it's been a while. It was it, I haven't played that card in Legacy since um, since the deck, like before the deck played Natural Order. So it's been a hot minute. Wirewood mm -hmm. Symbiote here works with Multani's Acolyte, so you can do that draw engine that uh, that people do in uh, in Legacy. And then we've got four Fintorn Elves, four Land of War Elves, four Quirion Ranger, just like a ton of fast mana. The Tangle Wires can let you lock out your opponent on turn two, just like turn one Elf, turn two Dork, or turn two Tangle Wire. And then um, the one thing that this deck is doing that the other survival decks that are doing in the format is we've got this one mountain for anger and so you bin a creature go tutor up the anger bin the anger use the anger to go find yavamaya granger and yavamaya granger goes and tutors for that mountain in play and then all of your elves have haste which is pretty sick with priest of titania you can kind of just do whatever you want at that point point. and then there's yeah. like a mini toolbox here kamal is there to overrun for the win well wishes a tutor spell against burn post board there's like more life gain against burn you know there's a little bit of a 
uh, a toolbox package with survival that you can run. You can play um, Octavia Orangutan. You can play Elvish Champion for the Green Mirrors. There's Ravenous Bailoth and Genesis and Sharpshooter for all their, their respective matchups. And that's the bulk of the sideboard. Yeah, uh, I feel like this deck is probably going to use Genesis much better than most other decks to play this card because it just makes so much mana. And Genesis yeah. is such a mana-intensive card. <laughs> it is a very mana-intensive card, yeah. You're not wrong about that. One thing so, I was a little bit unsure of is the, the 18 lands. I think if I was building this deck from scratch, I'd be playing 19. Um, I've played a lot I'm of man. elves. <laughs> Uh, especially because the mountain is a is a brick, right? The mountain, the mountain is a brick in the opener too. So you almost it's almost like a seventeen land deck with four cradles, which is a little iffy. Yeah, the, um, the cradles are also like you you can't keep one cradle hands or, or right, so right. Like you, you need to draw one of your thirteen actual mana producing lands on turn one in order to get the board rolling. Exactly, but uh, but that was also like this is one of the decks that the pre modern community seems relatively confident about. So I figured I would just like run their numbers, mm -hmm. and um, if I feel like changing things later, I can always do that. Yeah, though to be fair, we've seen like a dangerous amount of like three color Jeskai decks with twenty two lands that are trying to <laughs> to go like play a four drop on turn four, and you're like, yeah, is is that what we're doing? Is is that really what we're doing? Okay, sounds sounds good. Uh, but but yeah, you know, like people. People have to, they, they have the right to be greedy. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, the, one, of the, one of the things about those greedy mana bases is, like I mentioned earlier, there's very few decks that can afford to play four Wasteland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I guess Goblins is one of the best decks in the format, and it's that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> because it gets to play it. Uh, they can, they usually don't. Um, a lot of times Goblins is playing Ancient Tomb to like speed them up a little bit. If the turn one Lackey gets answered, then they can still yeah. like play their ringleaders and stuff that way. So that's kind of interesting that all the Goblins lists aren't aren't jamming for Wasteland, for Vile. Or I mean, there's there's no Aether Vile in the format. So like the four mm -hmm. Wasteland, four Rishid import mana base is a little bit less exciting because of that. Anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, we got a question in chat. What's the average price for a pre-modern deck? And that's one of the good things. You know, if you wanted to build this deck, uh, it's going to be really expensive because the survivals are like 300 bucks. But if you get the gold border versions, which are totally legal in the format, you, you're a little bit cheaper. <laughs> it's, it's much, much yeah. cheaper. Yeah, Guy's but... Cradle, if you're getting them off of like eBay and TCG, if you're getting the gold border versions, they're going to be like up, uh, 160 bucks, which is still a lot. Um, yeah. But it's not like oh, over a thousand dollars like it would yeah, be if you were is... trying to build this deck in Legacy. And the yeah. survivals, I think I paid like sixteen bucks for them, just like scrounging around for for low listings on various sites. And mm -hmm. um, and those are the two most expensive cards in the deck. Everything else is is a uh, pretty cheap, pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. And, and one thing it's that you know obviously that's a very expensive deck, but that there there are different versions, there are different decks in the format that you can play that are pretty cheap like a bunch of the decks are, are actually super cheap like if you would talk about like this slide deck that we played earlier that one is dirt cheap <laughs> pretty <laughs> cheap really, yeah yeah i think really the cursed cheap. scrolls are the most expensive card in that deck and they're like 20 ish i think i don't know yeah yeah so it's a matter of like what are you trying to play if and you're playing a deck that's that's jamming reserve list cards there's, there's then... fetches in the, in the burn deck too i think the average i think the average deck or average is the wrong word <laughs> i think the um um, I think most decks in pre-modern cost like around 500-ish to, to $600. But if you already own fetches from other formats, if you have like some overlap with your collection, if you have like mm -hmm. a, um, a bunch of trash to root through and <laughs> dig up old playables, then it becomes even cheaper than that. And $500 for an eternal deck uh, is very, very cheap if you're comparing that to like modern and legacy, of course. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. uh, the top end is decks with... Uh, with Mox Diamonds in them, and those can get <laughs> extremely expensive because Mox Diamond is like fucking almost a thousand dollars right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's no, a small part of the format. No, for sure. And like one of the cool things is that you know, obviously, um, you know, there's not that much. So it's not like modern where MH2 is going to get released, and then all of a sudden your entire collection is worthless, right? Because like <laughs> you have your playset of Snapcaster Mages, and nobody has played Snapcaster Mage in over a year, right? But yeah, uh, yeah, none of these cards are rotating. That's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah, someone, so someone you... in my chat says that they built Fluctuator combo for seventy dollars. <laughs> that's like a that's a popper deck. <laughs> that's go. like what popper decks cost. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. So like, it, it basically depends. Like, there's really really expensive decks, or there's very very cheap decks. So yeah. Yeah. What's so, a what's jam? Matches. Okay, so ch -ch 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 challenge and ties control. Oh, I'm so excited to play this tank. Oh yeah, same here. <laughs> Yeah, questions are very welcome. Maybe we won't get to answer all of them because you know we're talking to each other at the same time, so <laughs> it's hard. But if we get to answer the question, we will. Ooh, look at me winning a die roll. Mm -mm -mm. This okay, hand is like this. Is this hand is like almost exciting, but not quite. I'll keep this one. That's probably like the single best card in this matchup, I would assume. Because no it, it can protect your other your other elves. That, I guess that's also pretty scary, huh? <laughs> I remember when um uh when Legacy was playing Mirror Entity and there was a infinite loop with Mirror Entity and two Wirewood symbiotes where you would activate the mirror entity for one and then they'd both become elves and then they could start you could start looping <laughs> your Wirewood symbiotes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Super cool. Prairion Ranger. Ladder Elf. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I've been got. That's kind of my whole load, though, so I hope I draw something good. <laughs> Oops. Oh, damn. I misclicked. Whoops. That's fine. <clears throat> hey, at least you're going you're gonna to be tapping three, three fixes now, right? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I only have nine mana instead of... <laughs> Take four. Ooh, shitter beats. Take four. Ooh, you get to gain some lives. Some yeah, life is it? I'm sure that's this super relevant what, in this format. What I should have done last turn. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, you were talking about mistapping, and I was like, how, yep. how is that possible? But yeah, if you just yep. like click through the trigger. Yeah, that's that's what I should have done. So we're gonna do that. A symbiote down. You didn't even get any value from the tangled wire. Does that, <laughs> how does that make you feel now? Terrible. It feels fucking fucking awful. <laughs> This tangle where is all I've got. Oh, what if I drew another one though? That'd be hot. Please don't. I mean, I'm laughing and everything, but like this is a three turn clock now. <laughs> guess, guess I do this. <laughs> I don't Man. see it mattering, but up to twenty five. Jeez. Well, that breaks me. <laughs> uh, hmm. I still serve. To one card in hand. That's probably not very good.
in a game four? <laughs> and then one more? Jeez. Seemed better than gaining three. <laughs> Tight play. Tight play. Yeah, old school. Some uh, some folks still play the biorhythm. Some people still have that card in here. You can be covered against the next tangle wire. Mm mm. Again, another matchup, another another target for oh, Silo Cleansing, huh? Yeah, yeah. Probably more often hitting survival than tangle wire, but still. Yeah, obviously. That's a draw. So much life. In fact, he's got some turns. To ya. <laughs> got me. Go. <laughs> uh, 18 to clock. Let's go. Now it's 17. I'm actually thinking about like sandbagging lands. I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> Do you even play that out? How much of my interest in the format is rooted in the fact that I can play survival? Uh, some, but like I got excited about this format before I even picked up survivals. So I didn't think that I was going to be into it enough that I would actually like shell out real money for, for gold bordered cards or whatever. That's not the not the right main reason or only reason that I'm jamming. Wait, what? Oh, oh. Then you pay X when it, when it resolves. Yeah. That's weird. X is currently four. Okay. Oh, Thanks, shit. Moto. What up? All right. That was only slightly weird. Oh shit! What up? The clock. The clock is real. Do you have a counter do you have a counter spell? Do I? Yeah. Yes I do. <laughs> okay, I'll just scoop then. <laughs> My hand is double guys cradle forest. So like if you're sitting there without a counter spell, then playing until I can like draw a deranged tournament. Yeah, I had some um, I had some good shit going on. Yeah, yeah. But if you have a counter then might as well save some time. Boo -boo -boo. Let's see. Damn, son, I got some cyborg cars. Jesus. Got some very real cyborg cards. One powder keg, one wrath of God, and one submerge. Are you telling me those are not good cyborg cards? They're good cyborg cards. But you're making it sound like you're bringing like 10 cards or something. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're very good, man. <laughs> These are the best things ever. <laughs> the best cyborg I've ever seen. Dude, like, these parallax tides look very bad. <laughs> they look really, really bad. I'm not sure if I want to leave Nantuku Vigilante in. I think no. What are you trying to blow up? Your shit. You got creature lands. You can hit your factory. Hit your fucking seals and stuff. That stuff all matters. Matters is a strong word. You ended that game at like five life. And your factory, yeah, that's definitely fair. That's definitely fair. did something. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. On that middle game, just realize that I have wish. <laughs> that makes it harder. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
That definitely makes everything a lot harder. Someone in my chat said the stream is getting them to like dust off their old lightning angels. Mm, that's, that's so exciting. That's what this stream is for, man. That's exactly what I want to hear. People loved that fucking card. Dude, like, it's so sweet. I remember, like, being it, when, when it was printed, and it's just like, yeah, that, that, that fucking rocks, man. That's, that's, like, that's exactly what I wanted, what I want my, my format of cards to do. Spend all so, of those scholars of mana, right? Game two, we go. I get to be on the play again. So lucky. Luck sack. Mm hmm. Honestly, turn one coastal tower is is just busted. It's it's good, right? I don't know. Like people just are like playing like two coastal towers in their blue white decks, and they're like doing nothing on turn one except for swords. Sometimes it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Play more of that card. It's like your best dual land. Yeah, this for... this is playing. This one's playing three, and I'm oh, just shit, like, I kind of want one more. <laughs> this this card's busted. Fix my mana for nothing? That's fucking scary. Hmm. There's no way you have Tangled Wire, Caleb. Come on, I've man. got Tangled Wire. I'm not sure I want to cast it. You know what I mean? You only have one permanent. <laughs> Like playing it here might be bad. I mean, that's kind of a reasonable concern. <laughs> I'll play it. Jokes on you. My other land also intercept. Yeah. I have been joked. Come on, dude. <laughs> Ugh. All right. I guess I'm going to kill that thing. God damn it. And Winter Orb's got that weird wording. So if I tap it to the Tangle Wire, then you'll get to untap your shit. So oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mono Artifacts, man. Oh, Mono Artifacts. You love to see it. Do you? <laughs> Dick one. So, and tap that impulse. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I think that's what I want. You sound so confident. No, I'm not. <laughs> Definitely not confident. You didn't actually sound confident. I didn't? No, I was lying. Yeah, good. Good then. I sounded mm. honest. <laughs> if I didn't sound yeah. confident, I sounded honest. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, got another raid. Love to see it, love to see it. Thank you, Fluffy. Playing some pre-modern here with Caleb. Don't even think about it. Just playing something else. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't play anything.
if you're tanking and then you play another Tamu Wire, I'm just going to flip the... God damn it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's correct. I maybe should be waiting another turn. I don't know. I, I haven't played with like Tangle Wire in a constructed deck. I've played with Tangle Wire a little bit in Cube. I haven't played with like the only time I've gotten two Tangle Wires in play in the last decade were when I Frexian metamorphed one. Like it, it is not, so, it's not something I've had to think about for a while. Uh, yeah, that, that's like that's that's fair. Here's another one of my lands. It's gonna get tapped next turn. <laughs> another one of those. No. Okay, I think this is fine. Oh yeah. Nothing like stacking some triggers with Tangle Wire. Mm -mm. Ooh, I'm gonna tap the first one to the other one. Man. It's basically cheating. Basically cheating, yeah. I love how it's like, take two, take two, take two. <laughs> this deck, I think sometimes you play a survival ever and then you do more than <laughs> attack for two over and over. <laughs> I think that happens. It hasn't happened in our match, but I think that's a normal thing that happens. You sure though? I don't know, man. Evidence suggests otherwise. Ooh. Just three mana, two, two. Yeah. Shit step now. You are complaining about how slow my win con was, so I guess I'll speed it up. Well, this is a combo, huh? <laughs> I just realized yeah, I that I don't exactly lose the call of the claw by running it out. Yeah. Yeah. You symbiote, you did it again. Hmm. Well, I tapped wrong for that. Can I even beat this? <laughs> like I'm, I'm just... Uh... Huh. Hmm. Winter Orb is a hell of a card, huh? Yeah, it's a card. Sorry about the tank here. You're fine. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, that's you didn't let me. <laughs> you didn't let me do the, the thing. You didn't let me do the thing. Ah, you're complaining about my ringy dink attacks. I was finally <laughs> gonna do everything. <laughs> Yo, you, you kill too quickly. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Um. Yeah, I was gonna go get Squeam, and then obviously I draw another yeah. card, and the Squeak comes back, and then I go get um, go get Anger, and then Bin Anger for for Granger, and then one more creature, and I can start really popping off. Yeah, I think I think I might have even had Lethal the next turn with Kamal. Just go get Kamal, play it, activate it. Did you have enough mana to? to do I had another Cradle thing? in hand. Oh, that's, yeah, that's why did. I tanked on the turn <laughs> previous. Well, yes, you did. You did have enough mana. Yeah. Man, those, uh, that color of the club card, it's legit. <laughs> it was a three mana two two. <laughs> it's not just a three mana two two. It has some text. It's 
synth's okay. I think I like the synth. I think I don't like mine, but oh well. I can do this again, right? Nah. What? Unreasonable. <laughs> okay. Ridiculous. Ooh, look at that basic uh, mountain. We can do this again, right? God damn it. Yes! Yes! Life is good again! Life is always good! Everything is tapped! Ah! All glory to the tangle wire! Uh, I'd be wired. <laughs> Don't wire me, bro. Getting so wired here. Just don't winter over me, okay? Okay. Oh shit, what up? That's worse. Why would you do that? You told me not to winter orb you. I only have three cards over here, what do you- <laughs> We're about to have more. One, two, three. Get the shit out of here. No. Just 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 get the shit out of here, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna do this right now. It's gonna happen. You know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. Just make it happen. What the fuck am I supposed to grab? Can I have four mana next turn? Four is such an awkward number. I just realized Tangled Wire doesn't allow you to tap enchantments. Pfft. It does That's not, nonsense. yeah. This is a nonsense. Yeah, I've had that come up. Can you imagine if it did and you could just play your survivals and shit and just Tangled Wire has no downside whatsoever? I kind of want to get Deranged Tournament and then just hope you can't wrath it. I could also just grab like Multani's Acolyte and draw a card. <laughs> Drawing a card's pretty good, right? Dude, like Elvish Vision already at home. <laughs> yeah, it's got echo. Yeah. But it's a two one though. <laughs> it's like twice the power. Twice as match power. I fucking got the wrong card. <laughs> value yeah that's a lot of value <laughs> Top two things that, that damn deranged hermit i mean we just, would, like, would it, wouldn't have been very good for you wouldn't have been very good for the other I guess I did get to draw a card this way. Yeah, Call of the Claw was, or, um, the, um, yeah, the Acolyte was, like, kind of in between. Yeah, I think it was good. It was kind of good there, right? Yeah, I don't know. Call of it seems, like, kind of ringy dink because then I've got, like, three ones, and you're at 17, and you got Mistress Factory. Um, well, I don't think I win that game. Genesis. You like the old stuff, right? I do like the old stuff. <laughs> the old Genesis. I was thinking about just making some angels there. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe. A lot of times you make angels, you end up regretting it. It's like a hard to regret cycling decree. Yeah, I guess I get it. I get a card out of the deal at least. Mm-hmm. Hard to say no to a card. Who said? Not me. Good. You got another one. Okay, a few.
I, my friend, would like to establish a loop where I impulse for impulse. <laughs> okay, loop over. Uh, I guess I'm going to use my mana here. going to have yeah. to get rid of this thing. You get to get rid of it. That was great. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, ideally you get the Genesis while you have a survival in play, and then it looks a lot better. Do you want to block? Kind of. She totally block. I kind of do. Turn with one of those one ones. Lower your clock a bit. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I hate that guy. Symbiote. Yeah. It's a great card. I wish I still had the acolyte, huh? I could actually like grind up something here. Yeah, that would, that would be a big problem for me <laughs> if this you deck, did. This deck needs glimpse of nature, and that's what this deck needs. I guess that's what like survival's trying to be. No factory serving? Love it. Yeah, <laughs> keep it all back. Oh, you're just going to cycle another decree. That's what this is. Yeah. I mean, what am I going to do? You just block and, and just bounce the dude. Yeah, right. No, you can never attack or block ever. I mean, maybe I should, I should have served with the, with the soldiers, though. Because factory oh. keeps your attacks back. I guess it doesn't. Should serve with two of the soldiers. There we go. That's the right play. Wait, what? Okay. I'll take it. No, no, don't have it. Wrecked. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Don't have Veil of Summer. Oh, that's right. If I, um, yeah, I feel like trading just one away is like kind of mealy because then, you know, I'm only getting one, two, two. I do get to play it twice. You would still get to like mana link on the second play, but my board would be a lot better. Mm hmm. Eh, shit. Dude, Caller of the Cloak kind of fucks. If, if only I could like float mana through yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the damage step. Yep. <laughs> if only that yep. would ever work. That would have worked out for sure. It doesn't work, Doug. No, like okay, the yeah, the yeah. mana the mana empties in between um, declare blockers and the damage, and the damage happens like oh, first shit, thing when you get there. So there's mm -hmm. no spot to like float and have it have it do its thing. It is a little embarrassing to get countered by mana leak on turn twelve, but <laughs> it happens. <laughs> It does happen. It just did. Getting there. Yeah, pre-modern uses the the new rule set, friends. That's been a common question. We're playing on Moto, yeah. which is only allows the new rule set anyway. So I don't yeah, I don't that's... know why this this question is so common, but <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it. to be fair, like I kind of want to have damage, damage on the stack. stack and stuff. Yeah. I, I feel like one of the benefits of this format is that it's accessible that uh like <laughs> <laughs> and, and when if you just like make people learn this like wonky old rule set with a bunch of like weird gotchas and removes from that yeah it's, it's probably not not the best thing for for gameplay purposes it's fun though I misclicked but that's fine oh whoops <clears throat> And this is probably the worst feeling ever. Like just not well, you, you just passing? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad feeling. Is there is there any way I could telegraph this any hard? <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, fair enough. I had the kind of wish for for absorb. Sure, sure. Uh, the decree to cycle. Uh, that was that was fun. I kinda... That caller was gonna be sweet if I could have like if you didn't have a counter there, then I get to make two two twos, and then uh, then the the cradle gets turned on from the extra two twos, and I can like play it again, get two more, and so I have like yeah, I get ten yeah. power there. I turn my two power into ten power. Yeah, it didn't work. Col it didn't work out though, obviously. Color of the claw plus symbiote is is very real. <laughs> that's that's a very real combo against a deck like this one. Uh, Turns so out Mana Link's pretty real too. Even though you only play two of them, it's uh, still pretty real. <laughs> still pretty. Turn 12 fucking mail. God damn it. <laughs> All right. So both of us yeah. only have one deck left for the last yeah. round. I've got a, a Lurin here. And I got Stasis. So that's going to be fun. 
Uh, yeah, this is probably the worst matchup for me of your decks. Um, I have a lot of experience grinding against blue white, and mm-hmm. even though you have seal cleansing, I can stack up extra win cons in my hand. So you like sack seal to kill a Luren, and then I respond yeah. by like playing another combo piece and like force you to just like have a ton of stuff. Yeah, and your 100%. clock is so slow that I can sit there and like draw cards for forever until I can like therapy you a couple times and go off. Mm-hmm. So, so it almost doesn't even matter how much like sideboard stuff you have from the blue white side. Um, but so do you want do you, do you want to go over like the Alluren deck or the Stasis deck first? Uh, let me talk about Alluren real quick. Right. Um, I'm, in the, I'm, in the, I'm in the headspace for it. Okay, sweet. Uh, so Alluren is trying to combo with Alluren, of course, and the uh, the combo loops in Legacy have uh, evolved over the years and gotten cleaner and better as and like required fewer and fewer cards as uh, more cards have gotten printed. But the cards that we're using here to combo with are are uh, <laughs> you know it's uh, it's pre modern so it's only cards that uh, that you combo with in pre modern. And the main combo piece is Cavern Harpy. And it's a one in a blue and a black, two one flyer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return a blue or black creature you control to its owner's hand, and then you can pay a life to return it to its owner's hand. So Cavern Harpy plus Soul Warden is going to give you infinite life, and you've got only one Soul Warden to find in the main deck, but you can Living Wish for the extra copy in the sideboard, get some consistency there. The the usually the way that you're turning through your deck is Cavern Harpy plus Raven Familiar. So you use the you play the Cavern Harpy. It, at the end of the battlefield, it triggers, you return something, you return the Raven Familiar, you play it, you get another card, then you pay a life, return the Cavern Harpy, etc. The cool thing about Wirewood Savage as a draw engine is that it doesn't require life. You can just play the Cavern Harpy, have it bounce to its own comes into play trigger, and you get to draw a card from the Wirewood Savage because the Cavern Harpy itself is a beast. So um, the first time I played this deck, I only had one Wirewood Savage in the main and one in the sideboard. Now I'm playing two Savages in the main. That might get up to three. I haven't... Uh, I haven't uh, cut like my mana war yet. I've uh, I've won a lot in, in a lot of like weird little places from mana war, bouncing like problem permanents from the opponent, or or like just making infinite life with soul warden. Like it can do like a bad cavern harpy impression in that case, and then you can also like grind with it and and save your creatures from removal and that sort of thing. So it's been pretty good for me. The one card that I'm playing that's a little weird is Gaia's blessing. And uh, part of it is when you when you go infinite, there's a couple of different ways to win. You can Living Wish for Maggot Carrier, but sometimes against full of counters and stuff, through all of your Living Wishes, sometimes you have to like Living Wish for a utility card or a land or or something along those lines. And then and then sometimes Living Wishes get discarded or countered or what have you. And so um, so you can't rely you can't rely on Living Wish for Maggot Carrier. And sometimes your key combo pieces. Uh, get answered like the soul warden gets answered or what have you and guy's blessing is a way to just like have extras of all that stuff uh if you have to cycle the cloud of fairies early on guy's blessing can put it back in the deck if you have to stroke of genius yourself for uh for cards guy's blessing can put it back in the deck the way that stroke wins in this deck is you uh play your cloud of fairies it untaps two lands and then you cavern harpy and bounce the cloud of fairies you can get infinite mana that way and then make a stroke of genius targeting the opponent and I've seen some people play Brain Freeze in this deck, but I thought the guy, and the the reason for Brain Freeze for playing Brain Freeze and Stroke is that way um, you have like multiple wing conditions. If you do have to use the Stroke of Genius to draw, you still have that Brain Freeze in your deck to kill the opponent. But I think just having Gaia's Blessing in that slot is much much better because you can't cycle a Brain Freeze, but you can cycle a Gaia's Blessing if you draw it early on. So that's my one weird card, and I've spent a lot of time talking about it. Everything else in the deck is like fairly straightforward. I'm playing a lot of Nick Fit type stuff in here. Veteran Explorer for ramp um, can get you to a learn mana really, really fast, or factor fiction mana, or or just like buff up some like large stroke of geniuses and draw a bunch of cards that way. Pernicious Deed, I've been like really, really impressed with in this deck. It can answer, it can not only slow down the opponent if you don't have a fast combo draw, but it can also answer cards that actually answer your combo, cards like humility or a, a seal of cleansing in the deck that you're just playing the last deck uh, and like um, allow you to land the alert and, and win the game that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I just <laughs> talked a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> what's, the, what's the idea behind the Hickory Woodlot? Because I've seen other lists that have another Fire Exim Tower in the sideboard because obviously the tower combos with Academy Rector and with the Explorer, right? Right. So, you can, so, you know, so if you're living wishing for Academy Rector... Uh, it's pretty awkward to also have to Living Wish for your sack outlet mm-hmm. is something that came up when I was playing the deck. And something that's also awkward is if you're Living Wishing for mana, you don't really want it to be a legend of a card that's already in your deck. 
<laughs> so <laughs> so that also came up. Um, Hickory Woodlot is a card that I have not played yet, but if you're starved for mana, Hickory Woodlot just gets you to a learn from Living Wish mana all by itself. And mm-hmm. so I think it's worth trying out and worth playing. I'd like to I'd like to jam with it. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah, one thing that I saw you do that I saw nobody else do either is Sylvan Library, like the two copies in the sideboard. Right. Which is uh, really scary, honestly. Yeah, Sylvan <laughs> like Library is like kind of an underplayed card. Uh, part of it is that there's like not a lot of, lot of uh, fetches in the format. Um, part of it is that it's like absolutely awful against burn. That's why it's like not in my main deck is because it's atrocious mm-hmm. against burn. Um, but... It is, you know, uh, a pretty sick draw engine, and like landing it in some matchups is basically just like draw a couple of extras. It's the awkward thing about Sylvan Library and Alluring specifically is that a lot of times you have to use your life to combo with like Cavern mm-hmm. Harpy and whatnot, so it, it doesn't come in all the time. It comes in against prison type decks like Enchantress, and it comes in against controlling decks, decks that like do not touch your life total at all. <laughs> you can bring in Sylvan Library, and it'll be very very strong there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet. Anyway. We do yeah, have veteran this, explorers to shuffle. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, this this deck is, is sweet. I, I have almost a d- decent iron deck in paper, and I really want to find somewhere to play it because <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, one of my favorite legacy decks, too. All right, sweet. Uh, let's talk some Stacys. Uh, this is a wild one. <laughs> this is a really wild deck. Um, so we're playing like a bunch of violence in... Four copies of Forsaken City. So like, let, let's start things, I guess, by talking about the card Stasis, uh, first of all. So what this does is, you for two mana, players skip their untapped steps, and then at the beginning of your active, you sacrifice it unless you pay blue. So basically, you have to play, pay blue every single... Uh, every single uh, hold, hold on, hold sorry. on. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I yes. have to go to the bathroom. Do all you right. want to d- describe what this deck does while I take a bathroom break? Or that are you also going to need to break? No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, I'll be I, back I in a few probably... minutes, and you go nuts. Uh, I'll right. see. <laughs> sorry, right, sorry. I'll, I'll... <laughs> that's fine. Let's go nuts then. All right, so you're playing Stasis. Uh, people skip their untapped steps, but then you upkeep sacrifice, uh, sacrifice unless you pay blue. So the idea is you're tapping yourself out every single time. Um, otherwise, you sack this, and your opponent is like hitting the land or some stuff. So the way you offset that is with Forsaken CD, which is like this awful land from plane shift, but it doesn't untap during your untap step, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile a card from your hand, and if you do, you untap it. So it's a really, really bad land, uh, but it really works very well with this card. So <laughs> that's that's the main combo. And then we have a, a bunch of uh, counter magic in counter spell and arcane denial. Yes, this is a card that p- most people probably don't know because it's very, very bad. So you counter target spell, and then they draw two cards, and you draw a card. Uh, it's it's pretty awful. But if your opponent doesn't get to play the cards that they draw, then uh, what well, do you care, right? Uh, you have you're playing a bunch of free spells in days, gush, uh, foil, which allows you to cast it by discarding an island and another card in order to counter a spell, and then thwart. I don't even know how you are supposed to pronounce this word, but uh, I, I assume that it's thwart. And then you may return three islands you control to instead of playing this mana cost. So that's why we're only playing one copy of this because uh, that's that's a lot of islands to to have in play in order to return that. But uh, that's what you want to do anyway because you want to be hitting your land drop so you can pay for your stasis. Uh, the thing that this deck does, which is really really funny to me, is that you're just constantly trolling your opponent and like bouncing their stuff with chain of vapor and boomerang because your win condition is black vice. <laughs> so you're trying to lock all of their cards uh, in their hand, and then eventually and slowly, they're just going to die to black vice because they cannot cast their spells. And the, the fact that you can just like reset your your hand over and over again thanks to, to all of the free spells makes it uh, very, very easy to, to lock your opponent out. So... Uh, I am very, very much not confident with this deck. This is the deck that I was the scariest to play because it feels like it's not going to be particularly easy to to pilot. And I'm probably going to make uh, multiple mistakes along the way, but bear with me uh, because this deck is is very, very sweet. Um, in the sideboard, we have just you know a bunch of random cards that are very, very good. But what you will note is that this deck is just brutal efficiency. <laughs> that's That's the name of the game. Everything costs either one mana or two or actual zero mana <laughs> or, or like i guess not actual zero mana but virtual zero mana 
Um, so the sideboard includes the same thing. The, the, the biggest uh, cards are hibernation and uh, propaganda. Those are the most expensive cards that we're using. But obviously, these cards are potential game enders in the matchups where you want them. So that's that's why we're doing this. And uh, you know, the other card is misdirection. So. Everything else is that we have some Anoles, Blue Elemental Blast, Cider Blast, Stifles, and then Hercules Recall against Artifact decks, and Curse Totem, which is the card I'm going to be very excited to bring against uh, Caleb's decks for sure, uh, because <laughs> that's going to that's going to stop the um, the Harpy combo. So awesome! But yeah, deck is deck is sweet. Um, I'm ready to punt uh, to punt a lot with it though. So we'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, yeah, deck is really cool. Um, Arcane Denial is so good in this deck. <laughs> it's it's like a yep. counter spell plus damage. That's pretty insane. Um, oh, this is one of the decks that I was more worried about playing against with Aluren because you can lock out the game like very very quickly. And this is one of the the matchups where uh, Veteran Explorer is a big 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 liability. So the way that I've built Aluren makes me also like a, even a little bit weaker. Yeah. Uh, giving your opponent two basics when they're playing like gush um and the other the other matchup that i don't really want to face with a Lurin is sly and like again like giving them two basics when they're playing fire blasts is, <laughs> is not great um i yeah. still like the veteran explorer because Lurin's a very mana hungry uh deck especially when you're grinding mm -hmm. um but uh but it does have its weaknesses for sure is it anyway. uh, to the extent of you are just cutting them entirely like you're kind of entirely the better explorer like can you afford to do that i don't think you can you want to have like enough fodder for cabal therapy and like you are still playing a um yeah because you're only a pernicious playing deed deck and stuff yeah you're only playing 21 lands too right so expecting to cast a four drop with only 21 lands is on curve you know expecting to cast yeah depending deck. um yeah. Yeah, Pernicious Deed is definitely my best card in this matchup. The the yeah, one time I got to play this match, uh, the one game that I won was off of Deed. <laughs> the other games were getting locked out by like turn two or three. Mm -hmm. Kind of insane. Anyway, uh, I'm, yeah, sure. I'm down to jam whenever, whenever you want. Yeah, you uh, one, one thing, like uh, somebody in chat says, isn't the primary use of the bounce spells to reset stasis? Uh, yes, that's actually something that you can do. Uh, but it's that I mean, that's why bounce spells are so good here, right? Also, I really love the chain of vapor because it's just like you're just saying to your opponent, "Yeah, sure, like bounce, <laughs> bounce whatever you want." <laughs> like, do you want to sack a land to bounce something? Go ahead. It's pretty funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's jam. Uh, not trade. <laughs> uh, challenge player. Uh, yeah, I think Deed is fairly stock for a reason, Kevin. Obviously, you can cut it, but I'm uh, I've been really happy with the card. All right. Uh, well, this hand's great, so we're gonna keep it. That's how it goes. Oh fuck! Here I have to think, and it's not even turn one yet. <laughs> Some bullshit. Man, I'm already loving this deck, and I haven't even played land yet. Bolt to you, thank you very much. Oh, I guess I should only shuffle. <laughs> it's not a bolt, I'm old. Yeah, the tech. This the strategic mulligan <laughs> to take one less damage. Bird. I looked at a lot of different lists, Kevin. I don't really want to argue with you about it. Feel free to feel free to not <laughs> feel free to not do that. Wow, brutal that you draw after you took the damage from the black buys. Brutal. Deed. Yeah. Damn son. That's just not bad. Little free spells. Um, 
Oh shit, what up? Hey Darby, thanks for the sub. Sure, popping now makes sense. Maybe God. Because then you don't get to draw the card from the Howling Mine, but waiting until your end of turn is maybe better. Because then you can't like jam another stasis. Potentially a mistake. Well, but I can jam another stasis, right? Because then huh? I, I I can't upkeep these stasis. Yeah, you can. What, oh, I, I see what you mean. Now. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so it's definitely correct. To... I'll take it back. Maybe you could have done it on upkeep, because it taps me from one land. Secret therapy. Gosh, gosh, days. Don't get that one. Absolutely, Samurai. Boom. We impulse in. Get five cards in hand. Boom. Ping you. <laughs> the win condition is just so silly to me, man. <laughs> Black Vise? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. It's just so silly to me that you just... They eventually die. <laughs> no rush. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Impulse a good card. That's about right. It's possible I shouldn't have played it until I could flashback therapy. Aren't you naming a gush 100% of the time, though? No. Whatever. No? No. I, I win the game by resolving deed. I don't win like, you not having a gush. <sighs> That's fair. Oh no, you can gain life now. How am I gonna black vice you to death now? I'm starting to see how this deck is great. <laughs> now now that I'm playing it, I'm like, yeah, this is this is pretty good. God damn it. Take one. Hmm. Stasis looking kind of silly. Where are my stasis? My stasis is. Resolves. <laughs> Funny how I, I can't play the last one, even if I draw it. <laughs> the last so black place? 
Yeah, um, until I lock you out, right? Because otherwise, like, if you if you find deed number three, I have no win cons anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's pretty funny. You got me. Well, now I kind of want to name Gush. <laughs> but Caleb, you don't win the game by me not having a Gush. <laughs> what if you Gush into the garden? <laughs> you should name Dace. You know you're hitting a Dace, right? <laughs> Is that a joke? I don't care about Dace. Yeah, it was a joke, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> foil though don't you play like two foils four counter spells well, you yeah play more yeah it's two foils one thwart is that how i'm supposed to pronounce that word thwart Th thwart yeah that's right that's right yeah look at me look at me englishing like a champion uh i think we just cast this here yeah Look at these my black vice triggers, man. <laughs> Such sad how do triggers. Like, how do you like my black vice triggers? I like them pretty well. They're pretty hot, huh? Pretty sexy. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or I'm supposed to just like bounce some lands. No, I think that's good. I'm not playing days, so fuck it. If I'm in a divination. Yeah, but maybe you, you, you have fall as your last card in hand or something, you know? What does that matter? Because I want to have mana if I draw a counter off the gush. But I, no, I, I guess it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because like, I would be drawing after you. <laughs> you do the thing. So yeah, it, what I said doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm not worried. Good. Because you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be worried about it. This is the longest game of this matchup that I've played. <laughs> the funniest thing is just like, if I draw a, a stasis, like it just doesn't do anything. Because <laughs> you're not tapping your land. It's just pretty stupid. This is an interesting match. It's yeah. Interesting. It's interesting a way to describe this, what's going on right now. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to let this familiar die. Yeah, I feel like the three land tapping is more relevant than the one two, honestly. <laughs> yeah, right. Bolsy move. Well, I guess that you're just uh, shuffling sort of. your stuff. We both have like infinite lands in. Yeah, just shuffling your both of us your are thinning. Deeds. Your D's back in. Uh... Okie dokie. Well, one of us should draw something now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I or you know, to use just... the ability. Oh, you I get to, to choose the number. I could draw. I could draw one instead of two. Wait, you could have drawn only one. Yeah, Wait, it, let, it lets you choose the number. Draw up to two cards. That's weird. Should have chosen one. Yeah, should I have? <laughs> I love how I haven't found one of the lands that untapped just yet.
what is this game even? Like, wh what's going on right now? <laughs> Drago. We're playing Drago. Drago hasn't happened in like constructed modern like current day magic in so long because there's so many like high value cards and cards that just like end the game immediately. Like what if one of us had an Uro in our deck, this game would have been over like a long time ago. Yep. Or Planeswalkers, you know, would have like locked the game up by now or something. Yeah, just casual turn fourteen. Turn fourteen, I'm attacking you with two one ones. Dude, like Soul Warden has dealt seven damage so far. And I think she's <laughs> it's so much damage. I'm I'm starting to be scared that Soul Warden's just gonna go the distance. All right, that's what I'm hoping for. Straight up. Are you gonna have to start discarding? Next turn. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. I've only played one match of this deck uh, of this matchup, and it did not go like this at all. Yeah, this is kind of hilarious, actually. Oof. Look at that. Whew. Dodging that discard step like a champion. <laughs> oh man, this game. Yeah, right? I'm getting to the point where I'm slightly concerned that we may get to a point where, like, you're just gonna... I'm gonna deck before I can kill you with Black Vice. I almost want to get fucking Maggot Carrier and just start, <laughs> like, slow-pinging you. <laughs> Well, you're at seven right now? I am at seven, yeah. Oh, I just oh, I just realized that you may have some Cavern Harpies in hand because you literally cannot cast them. <laughs> I mean, you can cast them, but they're just... You're just they're just going to bounce, bounce themselves. Which is very funny. Yeah, we're probably... That one probably needs to go. Mog only would have tapped one land. <laughs> um, can I draw stasis, please? Can I has a stasis? Nope. That's three left in your deck, too. You're down to, like, your last 20 cards. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm... I wonder if I'm just gonna... I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be able to kill you, because like, you're gonna be able to cast all the shit that you draw, because you have infinite mana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like you have like mana shorter turnabout or something to tap me out. Yeah. Like, this is getting real awkward. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna counter spell that. Just fucking please, four mana duress. Let's go. <laughs> please for a stasis. Please, please, please. Nope. Got a second forsaken CD though. So that's pretty good. It's, it's basically the same thing, right? Dude, I'm I'm just soul warden. It's gonna go the distance. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, I have I have so much clicking to do. <laughs> With these cities, these city triggers. Yeah. And the, you have to stack your Black Vice triggers every turn? Uh, no, the Black Vice triggers just happen. Okay. You don't have to order them? No. <laughs> yeah, we go, we go to one. Like, that just game, right? Like, I, I have no way to lock you out anymore. <laughs> Why not? Well, because anything that you play, you get to attack me with. I mean, you have bounce spells and stuff. 
Yeah, like I would need to, I basically have to balance everything that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw uh, the, the version that I lost to was splashing green for the, the one green enchantment root maze. So you could like actually like hard lock mm -hmm. yeah, somewhat yeah. like all their fresh lands coming to play tapped and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's bad for me, but... Not that bad. Hey. Triple Chain of Vapor, Boomerang. Double days. So, many Chains of Vapor. <laughs> um... Trying to think how this works. Sure, take your time. So, if this resolves, which obviously I have nothing to do, but I'm, I'm try trying to think if I should taste this just to tap you out. Just make me tap mana. Yeah, sounds fine. But I think I don't, because I can I can always just taste the creature that you play. Yep. Um, but you probably have stuff here. Now, like, these stasis are just nowhere. What's the stasis, anyway? So that just gains infinite life? Yep. Uh, oh, you can play another bounce spell. I mean, I can play a bounce spell on the Soul Warden. Because, like, there's still the, the little fact that I just die to this uh, fucking it, one. one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you bounce the Soul Warden, I just played off the Alurin. So that doesn't stop infinite um, life. Yeah, so I guess I just have to counter the Harpy, which just feels really bad. It looks really good. I was hoping you wouldn't have drawn the fourth. I mean, I wish I had drawn something else, <laughs> I'm being honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I have to bounce you. I, I think I'm just locked out at this point. <laughs> I am I am the locked out one. Because I have to bounce your things, but you can just replay them. Just replay them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is just game. That was a uh, kind of weird cool. one. Weird one. Yeah. Pretty glad I had pernicious deed in there, though. Yeah, no, deed did a lot of work. <laughs> deed did a lot of work. That was funny. Uh, didn't, didn't even try. I think I would have just died, right? Um, yeah, I think I would. I would have had enough to lock you out. Yeah, you had the howling mind going and like tons of bounce spells and days and uh -huh. stuff. Oh, sideboarding. Didn't even try, says chat. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How the hell do I cyborg with this deck, man? Like, you didn't tell me I was going to have to cyborg. <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell me I was going to have Pretty to sure you want those annuls. Yeah, those those look good. We're on the same page there. What do I cut though? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should be cutting my guy's blessing here. It was kind of nice. Shuffle two deeds and a learn back in. I don't think that was the average game we're gonna play though. No, that was very weird. <laughs> that was very very weird. Uh, Factor Fiction is really expensive too. Where's my Python needle, you know? Just 
want. Uh. Yeah, splashing seems so hard with this deck, though. Like, Last Living Dahlia asked, uh, how would it be infinite life? The ca you, when you play the Cavern Harpy, you don't have to pay the life to return it. It's got to come mm -hmm. into play where it makes you bounce a blue or black creature you control. So you just wouldn't be playing the activated ability. You'd just be bouncing the Harpy to its own trigger there. And so that goes infinite with Soul Warden. Similarly, if you have a Wirewood Savage in play, um, you can combo without having to pay life. Probably, I'm pretty sure that I just cyborg very poorly. I'm ready. I'm ready for the YouTube comments to destroy me. Someone asked what the best sneak and show creature was in the format. Uh, I haven't seen anyone cast show and tell in this format. I have uh, seen some sneak attack deck lists. I think it's the uh, that seven seven worm that when it dies you get seven one ones. Oh yeah, uh, penumbra. Is it, is it penumbra born? Uh, that makes six sixes. I think it's like wirewood something or other. I could, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Symbiotic worm. That's what it Symbiotic is. Worm. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone else says to... that uh, dragon tyrant's really good. Oh, apparently show and tell is banned. Yeah. Oh, show and tell go. might have show and tell might have gotten banned back when like Yagmoth's bargain was legal though. I think that was like originally not banned. Yeah. 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 My my favorite thing about this format is how like you have reanimate legal and like you're going through all this work and you're getting a chroma like that's the best thing that you can do in the format yeah right. <laughs> it's it's so cute like you just feel so honest you know mm -hmm. doing some honest work out there getting my chroma What do you want to name, Caleb? Gosh! Damn it. Mm. What else you got? Gosh, darn it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I have another therapy. Chat. I'm like not sure that I should be casting it though. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill. <sighs> take one, Caleb. I did. I did take one. <laughs> The slow burn. Look at you out there hitting your land drops like a champion. Yeah, right? Good for you, man. Hey, yeah, thank you. Pinya. Come on, CDO Brass. Yeah, right? Play for the bad guy, CDO Brass. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know you're the bad guy. I mean, I kind of have to counter this, right? Otherwise, I get fucked. Hmm. Yeah, that was fine. You can drop to two cards next turn, man. Up to two Good. cards. Up to two. Cut me. Can we draw? Can we do it? I don't even know if I want to draw. Can can we draw? The stasis right here. Come on. Come on. Stasis me. Ugh. Stasis me, baby. Boom. All right, all right, all right. Redraws, redraws. I almost named Gush again. 
Yeah. That's sad. You break down stasis again? Yep. My my uh my last the last time I played against stasis, the player was like very good at drawing stasis against me. Yeah, it seems like yeah. it seems I don't know, like it feels like part this, of it, huh? Feel like, feels like this deck is better when you draw the stasis. Which is weird, right? Right, super weird. Super weird how that works. Um I probably can't even afford to like do I <sighs> play this therapy, get some lands. I just have to. Oh shit, what up? Yeah, let's go. Off to the races. Hey, Dick Coles, thanks for the sub. What a great name. <laughs> do, do you wish your parents had named you Dick Coles? <laughs> no, like, not, not really. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh shit, what up? If I'm being brutally honest with you, like the answer is probably oh, shit. no. What up? Well, we're playing some pre-modern today. Thank you for the raid. Um, some interesting matches, to say the least. Another arcane denial. Cut it out. I'm trying to live an honest life out here, man. What do you want me to do? Is that, is that what this is? <laughs> Wait, this is not an honest life? Feels pretty honest to me. If I'm if I'm being honest, this feels pretty honest. Like not drawing stasis, you know? Just... Um, draw a card, and... Woof. What do we got at the top? Okay, okay. So we got these. Okay. And we got these. No, that's <laughs> the one I didn't want. <laughs> well, shit. Can we get there? Almost certainly, yeah. Can we get there? Draw a card. Oh, man. Oh, I'm at fucking nine. I mean, I guess I still have to draw shit here. This is just the burst burn deck, this <laughs> <Cis> chat. <laughs> Mono blue burn. <laughs> Fuck. Good old psionic blast. Good old fucking days. Oh, fuck that card. Poor days. Huh. So Forsaken Secret tri triggers on upkeep. Oh, on untap step. Yeah. Oh no, it triggers an upkeep, so I, I actually need to stack this properly. So we're gonna now we're... Yeah, if it uh, if it triggered on untap on tap, it would actually not work with stasis, because you skip your untap. Oh that's there's right. a there's another land um that you tap it and then the beginning of your next turn's untap step, it bounces back to your hand. And mm. that that one uh would work with stasis, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Love how last turn you played a bird with that didn't really do anything. I mean, I guess it got you a card. I took one less damage, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eh? I will pay the one. But you take one damage, dude. Come I on, do man. take one damage. 
Ugh. It resolved? Right. Oh, right. life is so good. Yeah, that's what I just said, Mark Chalice. Or attempted to say anyway. Yeah, we're both playing symmetrical effects, huh? You got a Hauling Mine and Stasis. My Alluren is letting you like play your creatures for free. Value. Right? Hmm. Do you want to draw a bunch of cards with Common Harpy? You sure you don't want to? <laughs> oh man I guess I attack huh no reason not to if you feel so inclined Okay, let's pitch that thing. And We're actually in kind of like an interesting spot. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Interesting spot we find ourselves in right here. Very interesting. Mana what? Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah. We'll play that dude. Okay. It's another dude. Now what? Now what? Man, why would Savage is kind of savage here? No. Why would Savage is savage here? Yeah, I was hoping that I could find. I had the Cavern Harpy. I was hoping I could find a second copy. That's what just I was such a dodge. situation. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was hoping that you would not find. Let's see. I guess I don't quite scoop. Right, because I could still play some lands or whatever. Or draw some more mana. Yeah, I guess if you draw like run around like a, a bunch of lands, you should potentially be okay. Maybe that uh that sacrifice one. I could sack the veteran explorer and recast a Laren here. I don't have very much life to work with though. If Cavern Harpies bounces something, I think I have like literally one turn to draw very specifically that sack land. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you draw, yeah, if you draw the, the the tower, then you can you get access to two more mana. Redeploy Elrond. Should pay Echo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. The sweat. Oh, the one, sweat. One more draw from the Howling Mine. The sweat. Ugh. Did we get there? Yeah, I guess I have to like stack my me. triggers. I think I have to stack my triggers correctly. Yeah, I can play a bird here, but that doesn't do anything for me. I gain one life from the Soul Warden. Go up to four. Yep, should, yep, yep. Isn't that what one more draw step? Maybe. What? I don't have one more draw step. I'm gonna 
sacrifice, right? Got well, but minutes. if you play another bird. Right, so I would go down to six cards in hand. Doesn't the... Hmm. Because you gain one I... life, you go up to three. Yeah. Yeah. I go up to four. Black Fight steals me three. Okay, all right. I'll take the draw. I mean, no reason not to, right? Yeah. You just want to have the satisfaction of dazing this Alarian. <laughs> okay, now I, I need to be very careful. So this goes on the stack first, so I get to untap. Pitch in that. And we pay blue. Yes, I did it. Well done. You proud of me, Caleb? I'm very proud. Thanks, man. All right, final draw. Ugh. One and thirty. Oh, I didn't get there. GG. That was kind of kind of sweet. So I guess that when this deck draws stasis, it's better. I think I figured that part out. It's much better, yeah. So someone <sighs> like in my chat was saying uh, they pointed out that I grabbed a birds of paradise. I grabbed a, a stroke of genius instead of a birds of paradise. Um, and then I could have had like one more mana and and uh, and like one less card in hand for your black vice. However, if I do that, I can't actually win the game. Um, in response, there, I don't think I'm trying to I'm trying to kill you in response to your uh, boomerang on my uh, on my alert. Yeah. I guess I could just like draw through until I get the stroke of genius again, but I am trying to kill you with um, um, stroke and I'm not gonna be able to gain infinite life with the soul warden. So I don't know. I guess just like untapping all my lands is pretty good. With untap, the fairies? Untap living wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I don't have lethal there. Yeah, maybe yeah. birds is better. But that was my reasoning. The reasoning was I was like literally trying to kill you with a boomerang on the stack if I could. Mean. I think maybe if I lead on the Raven Familiar Mana War thing. I lead on the Raven Familiar Mana War. Or hold on to the Mana War. If I lead on the Raven Familiar, hold on to the Mana War. And then go Cavern Harpy. If you respond with boom if you respond with your second boomerang, then I can play the Soul Warden and play the Mana War and have the Mana War bounce itself. And gain infinite life there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that yeah, would have been would the, the, the winning line. Anyway, tricky stuff. Game three, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Cloud of Fairies can make Stroke infinite, but not if you um not if you can't get infinite life. Wow, fuck Master, this hand. Masterfully choosing to be on the play. Remaster. Six huh. we go. There are some good cards. Yeah, some good ones over here too. Kind of a different, difficult decision figuring out what to put back. Drew some good cards, did not draw some good lands. Uh, this is fine though. Keep that. Hmm. Think that's what I want to do. Multi fives not exciting. No, it's not exciting. You can just turn to a hauling mine, and we'll just like draw those cards back. <laughs> Having you draw some more cards in the process. Ugh. Turn to a Lurin? Are you really about to turn to a Lurin me? No, you're not. Coward. Arcane Denial. Okay. I think that card's actually better than Counterspell in your deck. Counterspell right now? I mean, arguably, yes. <laughs> I mean, it draws you towards your stasis, which is kind of where you want to be anyways. Honestly, familiar impulse is 
kind of sick. A familiar therapy is kind of sick, I mean. Cabal therapy? Oh, you mean yeah. psyching familiar to therapy? Yeah, it's decent. Yeah. Not having to pay the echo. Mm hmm. Oh, no, my stasis. My stasis. Oh man. Hmm. This day's looking kind of silly right about now, huh? Yeah. That's one of the reasons that I really, really love the Veteran Explorer Frexian Tower stuff. Is it like makes soft counters like Mana Leak and Days much, much easier to play around. What am I trying to do here? This is what I'm trying to do. I think I'm going to use Veteran Explorer's ability. Yeah, that seems smart. Yeah, I think I'm going to. It's kind of weird how sometimes it asks me to search before you search, and sometimes it asks it you search and then it asks me to search. It might be a app nap. Feels kind of weird. Because I'm sacking on your turn. Um, so intuition. So cards that does stuff versus <laughs> lands and a card that doesn't do stuff. So it's kind of a, kind of important. I think I agree with your split, though. This was not a tasty fact of fiction, but I'm kind of glad I'm not drawing these. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, man, you chose the card that does stuff. God right? So bad for me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at me hitting my land drops and shit. I'm not even sure what I should be intuitioning for. The other day I randomly saw how much intuition is worth these days. It's pretty expensive, yeah. <laughs> it was one yeah. of the reasons I wasn't playing any uh, in that first tournament that I played in. Yeah. But Fact of Fiction is a little bit better against a wall of counters anyway. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't actually want to strip my deck of Allurens or Pernicious Deeds here, but maybe I should be. Yeah, Foff really worked out very well. And another reason for the guy is Blessing, too. When you Foff away, like, some key cards, you can just get them back. Yeah, sorry about the tank. You're good. Can just grab Triple Therapy. Kind of nice. Set up for something important to resolve later. Quite smart. One of the issues with getting triple deed is uh, you like bouncing at end of turn at a future point. I think you, you literally have boomerang in hand, right? Yeah. Mm hmm I saw that earlier. Yeah, you saw it from the from the therapy. Stasis wouldn't even do too much right now. Black Vice wouldn't even do too much. <laughs> try this line. I think it's legit. Another bird? That's so much mana. And then I just like chill here and wait until I draw something that matters. <laughs> yeah, that that was my plan all along as well. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. A 
these days foil these days have not looked very strong <laughs> it was still important that uh that last game prevented yeah, no, no, me no, for from sure, replaying for... a for the win yeah yeah for sure all right what do you want to what do you want to resolve this fucking thing I guess if I draw stasis now, I could be up to something. Yeah. I agree. <sighs> Pretty good. That's a uh, that's a c -c -c combo, I think. Not a great one. And a little on the stasis. intensive side. Easy stasis. Phew! <laughs> terrified me. Don't do don't do that. <laughs> that's not kind. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You also get to swing for two. Whew. Yeah, right. So lucky. Fire. Absolute fire. Uh, so it's correct for me to daze this once. All right. Take my daze. I will. And your last card is Chain of Vapor. Yep. Hmm. Where was that silly stasis for me that last turn? I guess I should just fly flashback therapy on the Chain of Vapor too. And just like don't have to deal with it. Um. Yeah, you probably should. If you have another, like, I, I, I can I can win through it. Yeah, my last card is Cavern Harpy. I can win through oh, the, yeah. the chain of vapor, but like, it's just simpler if you don't have it. I think. Uh, yeah, I guess I, you can sack the, the harpy itself. Yeah, like you're like literally hell bent here. Yeah, like what am I gonna do? Like bounce your familiar? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So there was a turn where I could have gone a stasis instead of the foil. But it was at a point where you had more mana than I did, so I don't think sure. would have done. Yeah, yeah so sometimes I... sometimes those stasises are fine, and then you just like pay for a I long guess... time and then bounce it with Chain of Vapor at a certain point um, to like rebuy the stasis. Can you... can you actually go infinite without Soul War then? Uh, I can't go infinite, but I have 19 life, so I'm going to see my whole deck with this Raven Familiar. I don't think I can brick from here. I mean, you can yeah. watch me combo if you like. I, I, I have no, no, no I'm, issues. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think. You know, for, for for the people who have not seen the combo in place before. Mm -hmm. uh, so so we did each iteration. Uh, Kale of Spain one life to bounce this. Like this comes into play, bounces the familiar, then pays one life to to bounce the harpy, and he's drawing a card, which it, with it, each iteration. And what are you trying to draw towards? With one uh, I've got I've got Living Wish that can get Soul Warden from the sideboard. I've got that Gaia's okay. Blessing that we saw in the first game to shuffle the Soul Warden back in. Yeah. Um, and then Cloud of Fairies uh, yeah, here of Fairies gives me infinite mana. And taps the mana, so he, so you can so that can cast yeah. the Living Wish. Yeah. Yeah. So that that, that was the piece that that, that we were. Missing and with the, the Wirewood, I don't actually have to pay life. Um, yeah. Not, with no. the Cavern Harpy anymore. Yeah. So, so now that just... the Harpy just. It says that you can bounce a blue or black creature, so it can bounce itself. So, it just yeah, bounces so it's, itself, yeah, and that goes to the next. Cool. Yeah, once you, oh. you get that combo going with that you know much what, life. You know what the best thing about me winning this match is? The absolute best thing? Which is? You have to play one of my decks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play the good deck, though. Which is the good which, deck? What deck do you want to play? I don't know which play? one that is. <laughs> we'll see. 
It's a dealer's choice deal. Um, let's see. It's between Sly, Aluren, and um, Stifledon were the were the three that I won with. So you get your uh, choice okay. between those three. Oh, we're not doing it bracket style. Uh, I mean, it is bracket style, but like we're gonna. Yeah, because like, think... the first two matches that we played were Rock versus um, Sly, and uh, Madness versus. Uh, that was the Dread Steel deck. So we're gonna th- we're gonna play. But the uh, the bra- I mean the brackets can be random. Like we could they could yeah. be like the same way that we chose our matchups the first way. Yeah, I guess it's whatever. If if you had a preference for what to play next, if however you want to do it is is absolutely fine with me. I don't okay. uh, I don't sure. care. So which one do you like better, Alurin or or Elves? Because I want to play one of those. Uh, I didn't I didn't win with Elves. Oh. Oh, that's right. That was that was my win. Oh, sweet, awesome. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so you're switching so over have... to Alluren. Uh, no, All right. I, 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 I want you to play Alluren, though. Oh my uh, god, <laughs> you were excited to play it, though. You should play it. Yeah, I've played. Right. I've played so much Alluren. I nah, played through I that uh, that Swiss and that top eight and stuff, and uh, and I jammed a lot of games with it before the event in question. So, um, I have no issue with uh with playing uh, these other fine decks that we have put together because I I don't have very many reps with them. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to say that twice before I. I, I, <laughs> it, I didn't. I didn't think I'd have to twist your arm too hard. Yeah, yeah no, I, th- I think we're fine. All right, all right, sweet. So I'll play alone. Uh, can we take a very a quick break though? So yeah, go nuts. Go first. go uh, go do I'll, that. And take your break. I'll be right back. I'll sit here and answer questions and stuff. I haven't gotten to talk to chat much. Uh, I enjoy this. I enjoy this uh, this style of content making, where um where I'm talking to a to another content creator, but I'm I'm much much less interactive with chat i've been trying to when people sub i've been trying to see it and like let people know in chat that i appreciate their subbing and stuff but i haven't been doing my usual call outs uh some folks i've seen streamers do it with push to talk where they'll like talk to the the person they're 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 in the chat with and then they'll also turn it off so like they're just like talking to their subs and whatever but i don't know i'm bad with technology i suck at that stuff play mono blue tron <laughs> no 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 that deck is wild i'm not gonna be playing any of that we're gonna be playing these same decks. We're gonna see what can win this uh, this eight deck tournament that we pulled out. We wanted to give everybody like a taste of the format, but then we also wanted to like you know see what would actually like win some games, play a few different matches, that sort of thing. And that seemed like a fun way to do it. That way, if people want to root for specific decks, um, they can do that, even if it's the same two players playing all these. Goblins not getting played tonight. No, goblins are sweet though. We thought about it. We thought about goblins. We didn't play goblins because we already had um, a tribal deck and we already had a mono red deck. Even though the gameplay is very different between like goblins and elves and and uh, goblins and mono red. You're offended that I have pre modern slivers and not meat hooks. Meat hooks is more it's more typing. Pre modern meat hooks. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that deck would be good. I, I've goldfished it some, and it seems really bad though. It seems like atrociously bad. Do you want do you want me to bring that deck up? So Slivers uses the uh, the five color mana base, which means you get to play like Dress and Swords to Plowshares and Lightning Bolt, like all the good cards. But then you're taking a lot of man- of damage from your mana base using like Reflecting Pool, Undiscovered Paradise, and Gemstone Mine, and City of Brass. You know, um, you're taking a lot of damage from your mana base. Uh, you do get to like lock out some folks with Crystalline Sliver plus Worship. But overall, I found that like there's just like not enough slivers for the deck to be good and for it to be consistent. The list that I took from didn't even have the plated slivers on one. And so there's just like not enough of them. There needs to be like one more sliver lord or something before I think this deck is is reasonable. Damn, we're, we're looking at slivers. Yeah, someone mentioned it. They were they were looking Oof. at my decks. That's hot. Yeah. Oh man. Sly or Dread still? Which should I start? Which should I start between those two decks? They're both so good. I want to flip a coin. I'm going to flip a coin. Actual coin flip? Yeah. Heads. Literal coin flip. Okay, heads, I guess I'll do the same. Sly. I guess I'll do the same. But my coin is is an Amulet of Vigor. As you can oh, see nice. here. Right here? Huh? Amulet of Vigor? All right. Yeah, for all, for all of my viewers... That are not that are not familiar with Fran. <laughs> he is a he has played a primeval titan or two. 
<laughs> I've cast a couple. All right. So if it's if it's amulet, I'm gonna play uh, Aluren. If it's the other one, I'm gonna play the, the control deck. Oh. Amulet. All right. Aluren it is. Where did I you... get this amulet? Great question. It was a gift from a viewer. Uh, I think that you can get them on Etsy. Well, you're gonna be playing Aluren against Sly. Yeah, I, I have very low hopes, but maybe I draw my Soul Warden. <laughs> <laughs> and I combo you on turn two or something. Yeah, uh, so the, the mana base for Aluren is actually like kind of painful, and that's like oh, yeah. the roughest part about it. But um, sometimes you have draws where you don't die to your mana base, and those are the ones that you get to win, <laughs> especially yeah. if you can win kind of fast. That this, sounds all right. Yeah, this is one of the, uh, the matchups where going more all in on the combo, not playing any factor fictions, only playing intuitions, just like YOLO trying to YOLO combo your opponent by turn three. This that's this is one of those matchups where where that would be better for a for a for a different build of a learn, yeah, but yeah, it's certainly sure. not unwinnable. Yeah, so I guess we want to we definitely want a veteran, veteran explorer on one and get off to maybe the races. veteran explorer isn't like always good in this matchup. It's nice that it like fixes your mana base from pain, but then also um, you're giving the fire blast deck some extra mounts, so it's it's kind of a double edged sword. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But like game one, I'm kind of. Like, I have all these Fofs and Stroke of Geniuses and Pernicious mm -hmm. Deeds, right? So I'm kind of, like, stuck anyway. Like, it's... You're kind of stuck with them, period. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, now, it's, now it's a living wish board. There's not a lot of yeah. options there. No, no, I'm just looking at the board now, and there's, like, two Ingenuity Plagues and two Sylvan Libraries. Those uh -huh. are my options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Engineer uh, Plague on, on whatever a ball lightning is. It's elemental, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the craziest thing. That's a that's a hard way to go about it. Just name Jekyll. <laughs> Just name Jekyll. Also, dude, like your list is playing four milk fanatics. Like I, I probably cannot ever beat that card, right? Mock <laughs> fanatic? Just, Why? Yeah. Uh like it just kills my soul warden, my cavern harpy. Yeah, but if if like so if your opponent's got extra burn and stuff, uh what you need is just like extra combo pieces. So yeah. they respond with your burn spell and then you respond by like playing another harpy or playing um um, mana war or something, and uh, and going off that way. So I basically have to have to mulligan towards a hand that kills until like three or four, and has multiple layers of, <laughs> of extra shit to play. Easy. Yeah, and, and obviously you can't do that. <laughs> but you that know that that is what you're trying to do. Yep, sounds sounds easy enough. I I don't see any problem with this. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, fire it up. All right. Three of the four in Alluring. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that Alluring is a real deck in this format. Because, you know, I, yeah. I tried in Legacy and it's, it's just. It's not a it's not a tier yeah. one deck in this format. It's uh, It shows up in like the, the tier two when you're looking at deck list amalgamators and stuff, but it's put up some results for sure. Mm hmm. Ah. This is a hand. I probably can't keep this one lander. Yeah. Um, this one looks good though. Look at this. What on the cloud of fury? Fieries. Here's a bird. Da bird. I like that you took a damage for that though. That's nice. Jekyll. Okay. I lost a Sly in that top four of that event, so it'll be embarrassing if I lose from this side of the matchup, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is... This is interesting, to say the least. So it's a numbers game here. So I just have to name any card that you're playing for copies of. <laughs> so, not Jackal Pup. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's name not Jackal Pup. Oh, you fool! You should have named Jackal Pup. Oh damn it! <laughs> Tricked me. I've been played. It would be great if I had like three of them in hand. I like to. I like to leave dangerously. Uh, that's not bad at all. You can, you're getting two, you're getting two cards. Black. That's really good. Blue. Hmm. 
So basically my cabal therapy was a one for one. All lightning. Ha, huh. got him. Did get me. And here's my tattoo. Bounce your. <laughs> <laughs> I played against um, Blue Green Madness in the first round, and uh, they like did all this work to make an arrogant worm, and I just like naturally had the one of Mana Worm. I'm like, yeah, time walk you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Bounce. Well, we knew about that card. Knew about that one too. Oh, we also knew about that one. So. Hmm. Whoops. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Get out of here. Whoops. I was Getcha. looking forward to that Grim Lava Mancer doing work. Oh, yeah. I was looking forward to that Grim Lava Mancer not doing work. Uh huh. Also, I just All realized right. I fucked up. How'd you fuck up? Because um, uh, I I wanted to not take a point of damage, but by not taking the point of damage, now I have a fucking Soul Wonders Warden stuck in my hand. Yeah, I mean, you don't really want to run it out. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Man, this is really bad, but... Just Fawfen? That doesn't no. sound bad. Oh, you're stroking for one? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Lot better. It's a lot worse than Fawfen, but... Like, I, I'm only playing 21 lands. Like, I don't know how much more I can just, you know, do now. Yeah, but drawing drawing two cards is so much better. Even if you're, like, literally only holding it for one more turn. Yeah. Anyway, I, I would have it, held it, is all, is all I'm saying. I mean, obviously, super punished, but... <laughs> Um, now the question is, do I serve? Obviously, if you were at like a lower life total, like if you're at ten, then it makes it more sense to fire it off. Like if you like need to do something sooner, but yeah, that, I, I don't think I serve. Like it just, it just goes south so quickly for me if I mm -hmm. if I attack. I agree. Sucks for me. It's not like you kill me that way either. Yep. Some matchups you kill people that way. It's a good draw. Yeah, that's a really good draw. Hmm. Do we attack now? I don't think so. Hmm. That's active. That's bad for me. <laughs> uh, I think I pay the echo. I think it's worth it. My dude. Your other dude. My other dude. I mean, that was like four mana. Uh, that was three mana gain to life. It's not the worst. Not the worst at all. I think I have enough shit in my graveyard that I just chill on this Lava Mancer, huh? That seems fine. The Lava Man. You have two cards in hand? Two mm. cards. I'm still burning you. I mean, I don't see why not. Ugh. 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 Vomit. Dude, like, all of your stuff kills my stuff. That's Vomit so resolves. Cool, man. <laughs> Foth. Yeah, you need, like, a core firewalker or something. Let me go get it real quick. <laughs> I guess Chris Scroll answers it. Let me go get it real quick. That must be why nobody plays Core Firewalker in this format. Because it ties to Chris Scroll. <laughs> That's why. Um, 
Ugh, I think I'm doing this. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I just have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love I, it. I think I think I, 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 I just I just have to do this. Like otherwise, I I lose, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I can't win as long as you have that fucking thing in there. We'll trade with yep. each other. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds about right. Dude, like this mock fanatic too is just doing so much work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, now it's starting to look tricky for you. You almost need like another pernicious steed. I shouldn't have yeah. said that, now you're gonna draw it. <laughs> That's how jinxing works. Yeah, right? And then I'll get burned for running a seal of fire. The one card that I'm not sure about in this list is like seal of fire versus shock versus like the sorcery speed one that flashes back. I started with the, the sorcery speed one that flashes back, and I like never fucking flashed it back ever. And so that's why I cut it for Seal of Fires. Um, but Seal of Fire can be better with uh, with Cruise Scroll. Like sometimes you want to have a card in your hand. Uh, so, so Shock sometimes is like better better with Cruise Scroll. Um, hmm. I think Seal of Fire is better against like Land Still specifically because you can keep them from like activating with a factory while you sit there and like draw cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think there's like pros and cons to every like rinky dink shitty piece of shit burn spell. And I'm not sure which one is best is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Sorry yep. about the tangent. No, that's fine. Um, I mean, Fireball would be pretty good right now. It would be. Um, <laughs> Although I guess that I, I mean, even if I give you the Excellence with fucking <laughs> Blur, yeah, I'm, I'm super fucking dead here. Yeah, I think the Vortex locks you out in a real big way. Yeah. Is there a reason why you're not playing Monk Idealist in the sideboard? Is it just so I don't... There, just, like, there should be a Monk Idealist in the sideboard. I sent you the message on Discord uh, that I went minus one Mesmeric Fiend plus one. Oh, The shit. Monk that blows up the enchantment. Well, I fucked it up then. I have a Mesmeric Fiend in my sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the Mesmeric Fiend I tutored for like once, but it wasn't that good. So it was the one that I wanted right. to cut. Well, my bad. Oh, there we go. It only came exactly on the turn where it doesn't matter anymore, but... Oh, you finally drew the deed. He's, he's a factor fiction. <laughs> Maybe he'll draw me out of this. Hey, Foff into Foff. You love to see it. Get to cast two of them? Whew. Whew. Yeah. Jokes on you, I was dead already. Yeah, I probably should have done that in response to the first fact of fiction. Yeah, but you have the alert in play, and if, like, I don't know, I don't know what Foff pile could get you out of it. But if there's, like, a god one. But even still, like, you stop all my kills, right? You have an active lava man and a seal of fire. Like, I, I can't win. Like, straight up, can't. Mm -hmm. mm. Am I really doing this? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> All right, am I really doing this was called. Mm. It's bad, man. It's bad out here. <laughs> It's rough out here. You have a lava darts in your sideboard, man. Like that's how that's just so not cool. Yeah, I just want that card. Quad the price of progress. <laughs> Pyrokinesis. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Pyrokinesis belongs because it does um, kind of like rot in my hand for therapy, and it can't convert into damage at all. So I don't know if I bring it in against you actually. I think you'll be fine, whether you do or you don't. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's... I played, like, cool. ten games, just game ones. Um, and I didn't lose all of them. I won, like, four or five of them or whatever. But uh, yeah. I did lose the one match that I played. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I, I wasn't super. Like, I think I'm to five, if I'm not mistaken. You did multi five, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't like super no. far away from winning. No, no, you had the good therapy into oh. the good deed. Yeah, m- you were definitely in it if you draw like a little bit better, a little run a little hotter. Draw a couple more cards off Stroke of Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that may or may not have any good play. Look, man, it's late out here. It okay. is late. It is late. Yeah. I will, I woke isn't up it, isn't it like ten twenty for you? Oh, you've been you've been awake have, longer than I, I have, have though. Months. Yeah, <laughs> I have yeah. A four months old. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Time is blurry for me. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. This. I think I'm also supposed to mulligan. Okay, I can keep this one. Same. Don't kill my bird, please. Well, you can love it, aren't you? You did say please. <laughs> Man. Yeah, forcing you to rely on pain lands for mana is so good. Yep. If you could not deed my board, that'd be great. <laughs> I like that we're just being kind to each other right here. <laughs> Oof. Lava Man is getting in there. I think so. I only have two cards in the bin. I think it's a fun attack. Things are not looking too hot over here. Hmm. We're one man away from flashbacking Firebolt, man. Yeah, but I would also like be tempted to exile the fireball to the lava mancer. <laughs> Look, okay. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me here? So, 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 the so. legend says that I'm supposed to win the game. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard. I'll take that one. Maybe my split was bad. Hmm. Gonna do some thinking here. Okay. But only some. Only some thinking. <laughs> only some of it? Okay, yeah. I'm not going to do too much thinking. Just right, something. right, right. A modicum of thinking. Yeah. I just got hard. Good for you, man. Yeah. At your age? I just gave you a basic, too. I mean, I was going to take one from this. Ugh. Yep. He even needs lands. <laughs> yep. Dude, that's so much fodder for the Lava Man, too. Right, yeah, that's a lot yeah. of that. <laughs> All right, so that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen, yeah. All right, other yeah. Side that, of the was, that, was, that, was, that was not close. <laughs> oh, no. The other side of the bracket, we were talking about uh, how, like, the Dreadnought deck really didn't want to face the, the Four Swords of Hoshers <laughs> for Seal of Cleansing yeah. deck. And now oh, that's I'm looking, happening. I'm looking forward to that one. I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, no. I'm ready to lose that one, too. I'm ready. I think I would need to have... An incredible draw. I think my wastelands are good against you, but I think I would need to have an incredible draw to win this match. 
It's actually oh. funny, the amount of like random hate for that deck specifically that I that I have. The fun. deck that I'm playing, yeah, yeah. 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 The main deck seals are insane. Just like the incidental random hate, it's it's kind of hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you do have what do you have? Like four aces, two foils. Um, you have oh, the visions charms were insane in the the match that we played earlier. Yeah, really good. And then um, okay. Sifle can actually answer uh, the the seal. The seal, yeah, yeah. I saw some folks were not playing Stifle and were instead playing some of the two mana one that does the vision charm thing of a, of a, of fading out an artifact, and um, I didn't really get it at the time because like Stifle is so good, especially with like Wasteland and Days and stuff. But mm -hmm. if you want to protect your Dreadnought that's already in play, then like the the fade out with vision charm is like pretty nice. So that's probably some of that reasoning. Yeah, no, the the fade looked very good actually in the match that we played earlier. Damn, I want to play again. I, I I feel like I want to play every single round, and I, I just lose every single round in the, in the process as well. Stuff out here. I keep this, though. Yeah, Admiral, and a Sly is pricey if you're building it from scratch, but if you already... Like, when I built Sly, I already had the fetches from playing Modern, so it was <laughs> actually, like, super cheap. Yep. Six. Huh. Mold to five. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's not a very good five either. How about turn one dust bowl? Where's my turn one? Turn one ETB dual land. That's all I want. Ah, you board. fool! You fool! You have destroyed the land that I don't care so much about. Got me. I care about it. Mistress Factory is like half my win cons. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. At least it's the good win cons. Hmm. Speak of, speak of the devil. Speak of the fucking devil. Gross. <laughs> I've been got. Hey, look at that land. Got you good. It stifles a fucked up card. It is a fucked up card. Yeah, you're not wrong. Some people sometimes say, "Oh, why don't we have stifle in modern?" It's just like that's why. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> that's that's why. How do you like one mana fucking stone rain? Uh, I think I'm supposed to leak this and then get dazed. Nope. No days. I don't actually want to serve with the factory if I don't have the standstill down, I don't think. Just like turn on your sorts of plowshares. Sometimes you just need a little impulse. Factory, you say? Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess there's there's more where that one came from. <laughs> Fair enough. That's that's what's up. Interesting. Um, let's do that. Sure. Uh, 
And then let's do a little bit of this. Yeah. Um, so I have to... Do I have to hold priority for this? I don't. Uh, no, you put it on the stack and then Moto will let you respond. Because so, that like automatically passes priority. So this is how this combo works right here. Just, just don't let the triggers respond, yeah. yeah. So the X disc goes on the stack and then the two XLO land go on resolve. I think you can actually untap lands with that too. Like oh, target, you, target some of your own lands and then let those yeah. triggers resolve. So you have to target my lands first because those need to stay on the stack. But yeah, I think you could have untapped a couple. Not that yeah, it that's, fucking matters yeah, that, here, that's but... cool. I, I didn't, I didn't think about that. But yeah, that's that's definitely true. There's, there's still more. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got more of those. Sure. This it, it reminds me of. Um, back in the you know twin days yeah uh one of your best cards from amulet in the twin matchup was the stealer primordiums from the sideboard because you would put those in play and you just couldn't lose it the the what card yeah the what card a uh, stealer primordium um it's basically seal of cleansing but uh but green is the, the time shifted version and i always thought that was hilarious because you know you don't really think of Nobody ever thought of Seal of Primordium as like the sick, the sickest card. When it was in standard, I was playing a lot of uh, Pure Steel Paladin, uh -huh. um, and one the one I had a few different cards that were good against Twin. Like I had access to spell skites and stuff, but uh, I had like a build your own spell skite by Basilisk Caller on Border Pod <laughs> and <laughs> doing like kind of a similar thing. <laughs> That's funny. Lands are good. I like lands. Yeah, I'm uh I'm jealous. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Those would those look really nice. Yeah, you should be playing twenty six lands like I am, man. Yeah, right. Hey. Hey, that's a land. Dude, like this factory is just whew. the assembly worker is definitely doing some work over there. Oh man, it's about your factory. Hmm. <laughs> so one of the chats says that this deck seems more miserable than stasis <laughs> one of the things about stasis is um when you're locked out you're like yep done <laughs> and the uh uh the kill in stasis actually wins like really fast uh yeah because you just like pass the turn a couple of times and it's like usually pretty easy to have multiple copies of um not the rack what's the what's the card called the one drop black vice black vice yeah it seems pretty easy to have multiple copies of black vice Hmm. I'm not feeling that wasteland, man. Just not feeling you're not, it. You're not feeling it? No. I'm not feeling discarding. I don't know. I guess I do stuff. You gonna do some shit? Yeah. Nothing wow. good, though. Don't worry. <laughs> Are they okay? Right. So I guess I do this now. Gasheroni. Okay. Connor. Well, that's rude.
foil. Okay. That's ruler. Is it? I sp I'm spending three cards to answer one of yours. So yeah, I can draw two I cards. Guess, I guess, I guess <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I guess it's alright. Alright, you got me. Can I blow up your shit now? Oh, man. Why are you not letting me, letting me blow up your shit? I have to like kind of wish for a disenchant instead of doing this. Or use your onboard seal or <laughs> there's lots of lots of bad things going on for me here. Yep. Results. But I got to play spells. Oh man, I finally got to play some <laughs> spells. That was exciting. It was kinda neat, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, right? Uh, here's the factory. Do you wanna do you wanna blow it up? That's rude. How do you feel about blowing it up? I suppose that will. Oh. You did blow it up. Yeah, I didn't want to. Volrath shifter shape shifter is bugged on Moto. Oh really? I think we almost considered putting shape shifter into the uh, yeah um, one of the survival decks too. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we know that because like I'm sure we'll be playing more pre modern at some point. Gainsay baby. Gainsay is not bad. I've seen some people just sideboard it, and I was like, there's got to be better like a better like sideboard counter for for counter battles specifically, but um. As a cunning wish target, I think it makes a lot of sense. Impulse in. Impulse away. Yeah. What is up here? What is up? I feel like activating might be wrong. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to do that. What you got? Stifle? Okay. What if I do that? Station charm. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting troll here. Not how really. does how does face out control like it it gets back during my turn you you, you don't have it right? Comes back uh, I think it turn? phases I think it phases back on your turn. When my turn comes back. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you can't swords. What's what isn't in play? Oh, it doesn't. It's oh, not it in doesn't. play. There I was wrong. Go. My apologies. Yeah, you're good. Are you gonna fucking exile all my lands again? No, you're gonna, you are. You are gonna do that. Well, that's rude. But now I'm thinking if I should do your upkeep. God, you got back three seal of cleansings. <laughs> I just chewed through so many seal of cleansings. <laughs> that was a good. Re Remember when we didn't know why this replenish was in the deck? I think I know now. So you can beat Stifle Knot specifically. <laughs> God, I gotta be ahead of the Stifle Knot. How many Stifles did you use? You used one, two, three. So you have only <laughs> one left. Someone in my chat just said that this is fucked. Yeah, this is extremely fucked. This is pretty fucked. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing at all. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. So, one, two, three. Four. Blow up my own shit. Oh, yeah, no, this is, yeah, and now I exile my own land, right? Huh? I mean, this is how that you, works? If you want to, if you want to untap a land, you can, yeah. but um, right, I'm going to do it right now just to see, just to make sure. Yeah, just to see how, how that works. What do you got for me? 
Gasherino. Gasherino's a good card. Um, it's pretty good actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! What else? Back. Your stuff. Is not. Okay. All right. The tempo play. Pass. Trying to figure out if I can even beat this many seal of cleansings. That's a lot of seal of cleansings. I'm not it's a lot of seal of cleansings. <laughs> it's too many. <laughs> it's it's a lot of seal of cleansings. <laughs> It's been four so far, right? Because you blew up yep. three and then another one there. Yep, 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 yep. So I apologize to your chat, but my wife just brought me some fantastic sandwiches. So that's happening. Oh, don't apologize for sandwiches. I think I should have waited to turn on this. That's eh, all right. Ah, we got the gain say. We got the cyborg tech. Oh yeah, did you bring enough sandwiches to share? <laughs> My chat's pretty hungry. I did not bring any sandwiches to share. I did bring another parallax tie though. Yeah, well that's pretty good. It's like a sandwich. Hope you don't <laughs> have another gush. Similar, similar to uh, you saving all of the sandwiches for yourself. You're also Oops. gonna be the only one with lands. This is brutal. <laughs> I didn't have to have my lands. Uh, only, only Fran. So <laughs> this, is, this is my brand, man. Exclamation point Fran. This is what it's about. That's one less seal of cleansing that I have to deal with, though. Mm. I like that. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, you like that mentality. <laughs> looking, looking at the glass half, half full, you know? <laughs> I, I always, that. I always thought like how the glass got to its its point, like changed how your language goes, right? Like you drink something until it's like half empty, or you but you fill it up until it's half full. <laughs> so like its history depends on whether the glass is half full or not, as opposed to like someone someone's perception. That's so poetic. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the cards, Caleb. Look at the <laughs> cards. So that was some bullshit. <laughs> yes, it was. It really was. Okay. At least I don't really have too much in the cyber, to be honest. <laughs> Trying to figure out if it nulls any good against you. Fight over those fucking seals. Hmm. Yeah, right? I mean, it kind of feels like it's your best card, though. Like, what is? It's my best card, sorry. That's what I meant. Seal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's just like so, it feels like the the way that you win is by fighting on mana, and seal is just zero mana. <laughs> so I can I can fight very easily on the key turn. Hmm. Oh no, I should be cutting this fucking card now. Silly me. What happened? Oh, I've just been like piddling over my uh, my sideboard options here. And I think I got where I want to be at. Maybe wrong. <laughs> Maybe an uh, expert with this archetype would disagree with what I'm doing, but 
doesn't seem that wrong if it is wrong. I love how I was, I was putting down below what what deck I'm playing, and I totally forgot. It, it said Black Green Rock. <laughs> I haven't been playing Black Rock for like two hours now. <laughs> Hmm. Shout out to Coastal Tower. Yeah, it's good land. It's a good. One. Yo, uh, what's up with that? With that wasteland? Just wasteland in my shit, dude. Like, wasteland, sweet. Doing? What are you doing? I'm wastelanding your shit. God damn it! <laughs> that one. Guess I'm the one with no lands this time around. So this is how yeah. it feels, huh? You run a lot more lanes than I do, though. But I, I guess, do. like, Gush gives me infinite land drops. I mean, do you want to Gush right now? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll pass. I think you should definitely Gush right now. On third wasteland. <laughs> no third wasteland. Got him. Right. Very unlucky. Got him. Fuck. Yep. That's not fair. It's not a fair thing to do. Nice standstill you got there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone in chat suggested boarding them out, but I thought like a fast standstill plus like factory beats and wastelands may be a way to win. That's kind of rough business either way. Should have done this in your upkeep now that I realize. Because <clears throat> if you just stifle me, you know, crack the standstill. Yeah, I then you have to discard. I think I am going to do that. Leaking back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was uh, almost a mistake on my part. Correct, DD Jill. I could stifle the cycling trigger from Decree, but that would also crack the standstill, right? Either way, uh, yeah. either way I'd go about that. I'm just chilling now. It's like randomly my deck is just super well set up because what you're trying to do over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's possible the stand still should have come out. Maybe if we get to a game three, I'll make that swap. Seems unlikely. But possible. I think I, I probably would say that I feel comfortable right now with the current. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just looking at like seven answers to a Phyrexian Dreadnought and yeah. you're like, yeah, I think, I think I, I'm all right. I think I think I, I can work with this. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I like the way that you're playing it here. Yeah. Yeah, I signed back the Dust Bowl from like it was in my opener. I like that. I like that a lot. This looks fun. Yeah, it looks good. Oh man, kind of my shit. 
I was gonna have to discard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. Honestly, I I totally missed the fact that you had eight cards. If I'm yeah. honest. Um, that one. Not that one. Hmm. Go, baby. I wonder what they sold their tokens. Oh, these are the OG sold your tokens. Nice. Yeah, it seemed that they were just gonna have some random soldiers from a newer set or something. But they said the OG ones from from Onslaught. Okay, okay, okay. Dreadnought. So did you bring in the annals? <laughs> Got him. Yeah. That worked out. That was that was a fun match. So basically, I can only win with this deck. That's what we have established, I think. Yeah, blue white's good. Blue white's great. All right. It was uh, it was fun seeing how that deck plays out, and because I played against standstill a lot, blue white standstill a lot. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of cool watching uh, watching that deck do its thing. It seems yeah, good. The combo seems strong. Like mm -hmm. just my getting out of nowhere seems seems pretty good, and it's fairly yeah. small symbol. I, I was and kind of impressed by the replenish. We brought we brought yeah the the replenish was so backbreaking when it stuck. We mm -hmm. uh it's kind of funny. We like um brought this like diverse meta game eight different decks. And then it just like worked out the like the two boogeymen of the format. We got blue white control <laughs> versus Sly in the finals. <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm. Right. If you want, I if you want why. to do well in pre-modern, you kind of have to have a game plan against uh, mono red aggro and blue white control. Yeah. Um, Currently, for sure, absolutely yep. for sure. We kind of knew that going in, but it is a little poetic that they ended up in the finals together. And then I think Rock and Goblins are the the two next most represented decks after that. Yeah, I think the rock is a little bit overrepresented. Like people just like that archetype a little bit too much, which yeah. I understand because I'm one it, of those people. But. Right, right, right. <laughs> and but it, I don't think it's as good as people think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a little weak to um, like fast combo and stuff. But like it does have pernicious deed, which I think is good mm -hmm. in the format. And then you get a bunch of nice discard, and then you've got like a pretty reasonable plan against mono red. Like obviously, we played the matchup earlier. It's not like a buy for the rock or anything like that, but it's like kind of a pretty even matchup um, mm -hmm. based on what you got going on. So I don't think it's a bad deck by any means, but you might be right; it might be a little overrepresented. Anyway, yeah, let's play the last one. Yeah, the finals. Here we are the finals. <laughs> mono red sly versus blue white blow up all your lands. Who could have thought? Oops, did I choose the right deck? Will I brew in this format? Oh, I've been brewing Protein Shank. Uh, I've been brewing. I have, I'm going to um, play again, really. How lucky. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the play. What? Yeah, <laughs> I'm worry, just... worry. Why are you Dude, doing I, that? I was on the play every single round, I feel like. No, I won like one die roll. <laughs> one you out of like, seven? You clicked through that Cabal Therapy earlier, and I could have like just held the card for you to flash back next turn when you had the game plan. You can, you, can, you can win your die rolls. Mm. We're fine. Close hand. Definitely a close hand, but I'm going to ship it. I'm going to keep my second one. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one too. Someone in chat pointed out that the rock's like a consistent deck in a field where there's like a lot of not very consistent decks. I think that's valid. Yeah. That like sounds... you have like a nice, like clean two color mana base. You get to play Treetop Village, which is larger than the other creature lands. That's a, that's a very reasonable point, actually. Curse Scroll? That looks like something I'm about to lose, too. You've got a lot of 
cursed scrolls. You have more answers to cursed scrolls than I have cursed scrolls in my deck. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a second, I thought that my deck is literally answers to good to cursed scroll. Like matter. blue white standstill plays like a disenchanter too in the main deck, so they don't just like die to a cursed scroll. But um, and then obviously it's like good in a lot of other matchups too. But but you just have four. You just you just you have so many more answers. Yeah. I'm actively trying to have those four incinerate. Yeah, my not face, countering that incinerate. That's you're talking about. That's my face you're talking about over there. Yeah, my love, I'm into. Huh. Just out here impulsing. So that's what I do. That's what I do. Nothing. Jackal pop. Okay. You're just gonna foff off in front of all these people. <laughs> foff you, man. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking stack this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the best you got. I don't know. <laughs> That's actually how I would have split it anyway. So. Uh... This jackal pup's going to get to connect. Oh, it's so good. You get your shock, okay? I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> that was very kind of you. You get your shock. You didn't give me that one, though. Huh? You didn't give me that one, though. Rude. I'm not that generous. Like, medium generous. That's good to have limits. Another puppy. Another puppy. Yeah, we're talking about this watchtower, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to attack into, looking, not gonna lie. Looking pretty fucking huge fuck there, huh? All right, here's another seal. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. That seems fine. Lock. Yeah. Look at me getting in damage. Ha! Took a damage. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a bummer. How do you like lands? They're kind of nice. Uh, 
All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do that. And that. Paw, price of progress. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, saving that one up. <laughs> Save you that one up for a minute. Um, that one's good though. Not as good. I was hoping I could get up to four mana and like maybe beta counter on incinerate. Because there's only one pop in the deck. In yeah. Game one. Yeah, at least you didn't get that much value from the tide, right? At least a what a what? I didn't get that much value from the tide, at least, you know? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. If you really think about it. I try not to. <laughs> For good reason. I understand. Oh, is that getting absorbed? Huh? Is that getting absorbed? Uh, yeah. Okay. I was going to get blue elemental blast, but then I realized that, you know, this dude is never going to connect, so. Yeah. I guess I'm supposed to keep playing. You have four cards. I have four cards. Tiny. Anybody's game. Yeah, any, anyone's game here. Seems like anyone's game. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Now you get to start getting in there. Yeah, I like that. Obviously, I'm not <laughs> doing a whole lot over here, so <laughs> might as well start closing it. To ya. I've been tuned. You've been tuned? How about I three you now? Oh my. <laughs> so aggressive. I'm feeling it. Yeah, so this this watchtower, not very good on, on, on offense. Just no, learning, no. Just learning about that right now, you know? Incredible defense though. Like Oh very good. If your opponent had like three Mishra's factories, they wouldn't be able to kill the, the watchtower on blocking. Of course, they would just serve with three factories, but still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Not, not sure if you're really winning there, but, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to absorb anything. Just literally anything, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I like it. Literally anything. And the party continues. You're going to replenish six mana stone rain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't really hey. sure how the replenish was going to play out, but it sure looked good. Yeah, it definitely worked out fine. That's a Mog Fanatic. It's as good of a thing to mana leak as anything, huh? Oh, you didn't, you didn't mana leak my Urza's Bobble. <laughs> that's fair, yeah. <laughs> that is, that's very fair, actually. Come on, Watchtower. Go, you guys, mountain. go. Go, guys. What did you see to the... from the bubble? Like, I totally... The Paralyzed Tide. Okay. Because I, I assume that you looked at the top card and like, no, 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 that's, that's the wrong bubble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a yeah. different bubble. Pretty good bubble, but... Interesting. Ugh, that slows down my clock by so much. It <laughs> does, so, yeah. That's so fucking annoying. And I'm, I'm actually going to counter there. It's kind of like an odd play, but like... Um, I think you're right. Like, it, it just... It gives you so many more draw steps, I think. Yeah. Or, or it forces me to use the, to use the counter spell. It's like way easier to resolve a burn spell on Mishra's Factory than it is to resolve three burn spells at your face right now. Yeah. Oh. Um. Um. <laughs> Did you just top deck decree? How dare you? No. <laughs> no. No. I, I. I didn't. Um. But I wonder if it's time. <laughs> time to like stone rain my one land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> legit. God, da <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I think it is. 
Yeah. <laughs> you seem to be having way too much fun with that one land over there, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm never playing this format again. <laughs> oh, way fuck. too much fun was being had there. Way too much fun. It's weird, like, artifacts and enchantments are, like, some of my best cards, but you have all those fucking disenchants. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, like, everything just line, lines up so awkwardly. <laughs> All right. So you're boarding yeah. in some COP reds. And at least your extra Hydro Blast, if not both. Oh, you've got three. You got fucking three of those things. That's a lot of those things. So many blasts, so little time. So many blasts, so little time. This is kind of fun. Huh? This deck's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks fun. I'm trying to figure out how many cards I'm missing in paper to <laughs> to put it together. Oh, that's right, replenish. God damn it! You could probably play without, right? It's probably fine. What could go wrong? It's so weird that I want to cut Sulfuric Vortex against Blue White Control. That can't be. Just like literally your best card, right? But no, but is it though? <laughs> It's your best card, but is it? <laughs> One thing I'm wondering is like, how good is Tomart's script really in this format? There's right? like a reanimator deck. Yeah, there's like um, and a the couple of other decks like use their graveyard incidentally, but it's not it's not that good, I don't think. Because I've seen so many decks playing like two or three copies of Tormo Script in the sideboard. Yeah, right. Every time I, I play this format, it's just like, well, I wouldn't bring it Crypt against that, and I would not bring in Crypt against that, <laughs> you know? Because there's so many decks, like, am I supposed to bring in Crypt against, like, a Werebear deck? Like, am I really just... I probably using... would, yeah. But, like, you're just using, like, a full card in order to, like, stop or your Or, like, um, the Terrigen, like, the... That one white white XX, like you can actually like kill it, right? Or is it both graveyards? No, it's just one graveyard. Yeah, well, it's good there. It's Tormont script is the sort of card that I would sideboard if I just like had extra sideboard slots and like ran out of decks <laughs> to board against. Yeah, you know? but, like uh, I guess that there's Phyrexian Furnace, which is a little Furnace bit is good. Work. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that maybe that's the better card, honestly, to have in your cyber. I think it depends on your deck, yeah. Because um, the the reanimator deck can like turn one reanimate something, right? So like sometimes you don't have time to furnace. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, I think furnace is better against like recurring nightmare decks. Yeah, exactly. Like like a, a really progenitus sort of effect, you know. Yeah, it's awkward. I think I keep it, but yeah, my hand is unexciting as well. The scroll of the cursed, <laughs> cursed scroll. Kind of love that card. Curse scroll. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I wonder if we have, this seems like something that we could definitely have in in modern. Oh yeah, yeah. People wouldn't get it too much, but it would be like a cool tool for uh, Urza Saga decks. I um, yep. I think it's actually like a little bit underplayed in the format. Like obviously it's in one of the better decks, but I look at like the mono black aggro lists in there, and some of them play a couple, but like not all of them. I I feel like this card's got to be nuts in that deck, where you just don't have that much reach. mm Hmm. Yeah, like just having something that just play you play early and it just sits there, right? Mm -hmm. You don't really need to do anything. Are you just revving me, man? Yeah. 
Who do you think you are? I'm, I'm Caleb DMTG. <laughs> uh, you're gonna take a 50 50 chance. What are you taking a 50 50? Oh, I am? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe I should have activated an upkeep. Yeah, I think I should have. Here's Cecilia Clancing. Totally gonna need you next turn. No. <laughs> Now you have that extra info. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. The least greedy price ever. Mm. This is so awkward, man. <laughs> uh, all right, you got you got four you got four damage there. Yeah. I like the fake pump. <laughs> yeah, get those tokens. Mm -mm. Maybe these one ones. You feeling these one ones? I'm feeling them. I'm pretty sweet. Get one ones, nerd. Wow. I am a nerd. <laughs> I did get one one. Got so one one. Ball lining? That's, that's okay. probably that's probably worth a counter spell. Probably. Uh, I don't love taking this point, but I don't see another window for this. Oh, that's yeah, good. It's fine. Hydra, what? Hmm. Three cards entered the revealed card zone. Take some damages. I did. I did take those damages. Take them. Oh, man. Fire blast. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we don't have that much time, huh? <laughs> we kind of have time. I assume uh, you have a counter spell over there. Ah? Uh? So I assume you have at least one counter spell over there. You have fucking six cards in hand. Yeah, get in there with those factories. Boom, boom. Did you just straight up have lethal next turn? God, yep. That's filthy. I have so many fucking tokens. <laughs> it's, only, it's only turn eight. Okay. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Hold. So, activate here. Yep, resolves. 
We activate here. Yeah, resolves. Serve. Now we hold in. Now we hold in. <sighs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah. So I block factory and ping a token. There's still seven damage coming through, right? Five, six, seven. Suppose. This is very Okay. Wait. God damn it. <laughs> you don't know which I, one I, was blocked. I, I don't know which one was blocked. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, the mind yeah. games. <laughs> if you right click them, do they say anything? Uh, no. They say exactly the same. It was probably. <laughs> It was probably God the one, damn. the one on the left. Uh, that's what I'm assuming too. So I'm I think gonna, I blocked gonna, the one on the left. Yeah. I'm gonna risk it. Let, let's let's see if this works. You have six <clears throat> cards in hand. I have six cards in hand. Interesting. Okay. Oh, look, it worked. <laughs> well done, us. We figure it out. Sure. 50-50 chance. Oh no. You have two fire blasts in hand. Please don't. <laughs> no! I literally don't have one. <laughs> one fire blast was good enough? Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. One. Oh my fucking god. Don't even need the second one. I'm sitting oh. here like dancing around like, well, there's definitely at least there. No. No, no. Just nothing. Just this game three we go. Just five lands and seal off cleansings. <laughs> <laughs> we get an epic game three. We do get an epic game three. Whoo. Let's do this thing. Let's uh, do this thing. I'm just thinking if I want to change my sideboarding at all. I think I do. In fact, I did. Just so you know. Oh, well, thank you. Just so you know. That was fun. Yeah. The good thing about this format is that after every match, it's just the same thing. It's just like, yeah, that, that was that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> that, that match was also fun. Good times were had. Yeah, every every match is just a good time. All right, give me that drum run, chat. Roll me uh, up. Flaring painting is for COP red deft. And now my opponent knows I brought in Flaring Pain. I mean, I, I can't imagine you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to change. It's literally my best card against you. <laughs> I so much. You're not going to next level me? <laughs> literally my best out. fucking card. I so much. Ooh. 
Lava Man. I've seen like a lot in, of folks in the chat over the course of today being like really excited to see some pre-modern content. So thanks for doing this with me. It's been sweet. My pleasure. My pleasure. This this has indeed been fantastic. No attacks. No, I'm not feeling it. Just straight up giving me the no attacks. Bold face. All right. Get your shock out of the deal. I'm not scared of you. I think I should have done it on upkeep. Oh, I would have done it in response to this impulse anyway. I just shouldn't have done it in response to the fetch is all. If you have swords there, then I like lose the two damage. Interesting. Meddling Mage versus Grim Lava Mancers, go. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's some damage, yeah. That's that's real fucking good, yeah. Fuck. All right. And this hand really did not pan out for me. I just. I find myself, you know, all these awkward spots. I think I got you. That's what I think. Yeah. If you have double, double price of progress, this is. Oh, yeah. That that also does it. Yeah. Sweet. Sly right. taking it down. Sly gets there. Oh man, absorb was the next card. Brutal. <laughs> Ooh, so good. Yeah. Yeah, absorb's good unreal. Stuff, man. This was fun. This was an absolute blast. Yeah. Uh, I'm really glad you did this. I know we talked a little bit about potentially doing something um, larger. I feel like this was like a really good introduction to the format, right? Like not everybody is aware of what pre-modern is or whatever. And we got, we gave folks like a little taste of the metagame, um, mm -hmm. played a lot of different decks, had like little mini introductions to the decks and stuff. Uh, I think I think that's really good. But um, we also talked about potentially doing um, larger events more content creators, more brews, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah, and I know it's it's kind of one of the things where, you know, we're kind of thought about doing this thing and it can go as far as people want it to go, really. Yeah, you I know? mean, if the I haven't like looked at the numbers or anything, but uh, if people are into this, uh, for sure. I, I also like really enjoy playing this format um, mm -hmm. and brewing it and stuff, and so that like weights it too. So like, even if I get view fewer viewers than if I'm streaming like modern or legacy, I yep. still like kind of want to like, I, th I think I'll put out better content because I'm enjoying myself so much. For sure. This, for uh, sure. this, this underdeveloped format, you know? Yeah. And I mean, it, um, one thing that I'm thinking is that, you know, this could also be like, I don't know if people, you know, how many people we, we can really have if we had like a tournament style thing happening. Yeah, get a bunch of uh, get a bunch of streamers together. The number of folks that sounded kind of interesting, like Jarvis, you responded to my uh, my tweet about this format. Mm -hmm. Reed Duke responded. It seems like we could like drum up some people. Definitely, I th I feel like we can definitely drum up eight people. Uh, yeah, eight, eighty cc. But you know, like, do do we want to go up to sixteen? Like, at that point, mm -hmm. it just also becomes you know sort of a logistical thing. Right. Once you start doing like an actual larger tournament, it almost makes sense to like run it like a you know like the Hoogland Opens or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Which was, I'm, I I know went, some pe I know some people that could do it from the logistical side that could help out with that for in terms of like running larger events. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I want to like jump straight into it, especially no, because. For sure. I really want to, you know, play the format as opposed to commentate. You know, I'm like really enjoying brewing and playing and yeah. and you get to do a little bit less of that when you're commentating. But For like sure. maybe maybe like half a year from now, if I'm like still really enjoying it, maybe then I'll then I'll be more interested in doing the the commentary angle. Anyway. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and the, the nice thing is that you know, even though the decks can be expensive in paper, they're they're cheap in <laughs> PGO. Yeah, they're yeah. like they're so cheap, like. Like you look at this entire deck, and I don't even know what the most expensive card, like the, the wooded foothills and like the <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
and that's yeah. but that's it like that's the only expensive card in the entire deck yeah he says like the second one and it's this is like a ticket I, I think like most rental services you'll be able to like rent a few different like tier decks even with like kind of a low yeah low entry point too yeah, yeah maybe for sure if we do a tournament circuit we could maybe get like mana traders a sponsor sponsor and stuff mm-hmm 100 percent Hundred percent. So, so yeah. So it's one of those things that it's up in the in, in the in the air. You know, like this is obviously the very first foray into brand new uh, waters or grounds or however you want <laughs> you want to look at it. Um, yeah, and and kind of, uh, can, credit credit where credits do. This this format's like not that new, right? Like it's it's been around no. for for like three or four years or something. Some people put yeah. a lot of time and effort into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Like, and again, like you can go to like premodernmagic.com. You can find a lot of information there. I know, I know there's a premodern Discord. I know that there's a premodern uh, Facebook group that you can join as well. So if you're interested in the format, there's like a bunch of places where you can go in there and like find other folks that are interested in in doing. Um, so it's like there, there's a lot about this format. And again, like the the cool thing is that there's so much ground to cover, which I feel like it's. It, it makes that the format is just so... It just still feels fresh, you know? Even though it's been around for a minute, it, it feels very fresh because there yeah. haven't really been that many it, people it has, who... It, it hasn't been solved by the internet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like it, Because... Mostly because there's no competitive scene, right? <laughs> let's no let's scene. create this competitive scene and fucking ruin this exactly. format. Let's, let's ruin, let's it ruin for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> let's fuck it up for everybody who enjoys this. Yeah. All the slime mirror matches. Um, no, but but yeah, for sure, it's 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 a good stuff. It's it's good stuff. Like I, I really really enjoy playing this format and just talking about it and seeing what people are brewing. I've seen some like crazy brews, you know, and there's some really like cool ones, yeah. And there's yeah. there's so much like fast mana, and mm -hmm. but but like the things that people can do with the fast mana aren't especially good, which is yeah. why you know Dark Ritual, LED, Lotus Petal, all of that stuff is in here. But mm -hmm. it also means that there's like a ton of different exploration that you can still do, uh, and do some like really wild stuff. I want to fuck around with um, I want to fuck around with uh, Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. you have the the triple black like draw three cards lose half your library card you have at least yeah. one of them I haven't seen if there's like all of them but yeah uh, and then like all that fast man all those dark rituals calling calling the weak or whatever it's called yeah I kinda, I kinda you, you you were showing me the the fucking doomsday deck the other day <laughs> the doomsday deck is nuts <laughs> the doomsday deck looks so bad. <laughs> it's, it's... I'm just so happy that somebody figured out a way to kill with Doomsday, man. Yeah, like, it's right. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. Um, but but yeah, it's it, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. I've been enjoying it a lot. Like the videos that I made with with Brian the other day were were great. Yeah, Obviously, do you know? Is... Are, have uh, have your videos with him gone up on YouTube yet? Yeah, they went up this morning. So you can okay. find them uh, cool. if if you go to. F uh, YouTube sl uh, com slash F P A W L U S Z M T G. So I, I know that it's 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 yeah it's, it's something. I should have should have changed my <laughs> my username while I had the chance. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, F Pablush. And again, I'm Francisco a, by the way. Is it a is or, it linked from your uh, from your Twitter? Yeah, it's it's in my Twitter. Yeah, it's so that's in, pretty like, that's my, pretty easy to find then. Yeah. So. So yeah, um, if you want to see some promoter content over there, I'm I'm very excited about making more. Like I'm I'm excited. Like right now, what we wanted to do is we kind of wanted again. Like I don't think that there's this kind of content out there. At least not that much. Like it's very limited what's out there. Yeah. Uh, well, it's hard. Um, you need you need to find someone else who has the the time yeah. and the the decks and the the interest and all that. Exactly, exactly. But uh, you know, most of the content that you see out there, and, and what we wanted to do today is like kind of showcase the format a little bit, right? Like show the decks that are, that are possible, like how they work, how they interact with each other. Um, Absolutely. But, you know, obviously, what I would want to do is I would want to try to like do some brewing or in, even some tuning. Like, obviously, I'm I'm out there to break blue red madness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely. That's, Hell yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> it's a it's a bummer that Volrath shapeshifter is is bugged on Moto. That's like a chunk yeah. of the format, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good a, thing I didn't add it, it to I didn't add it to the deck because like I was I was thinking about you know there's like a win condition that we talked about last time mm -hmm. with. Fire Action Devourer and like that thing in Triskelion. Triskelion, like, yeah, yeah. It's like a nice little, 
compact package, just three cards, and you can win out of nowhere with a with a survival, which is very mm-hmm. nice. But but yeah, this was awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. Thanks, yeah, thanks again for coming on, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, have a good one. Bye bye, folks. Bye bye, chat. Bye.